beats in the hood. Be this your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And this is Entertainment Crazy War Happy Hour. Actually, Drink Champs. Drink Champs. I always forget to say that. <laughs> Make some noise! Hey! And when I tell you these brothers here mm. are icons, mm. are beyond legends, you know, part of my mostly my childhood consists of their music. They have stayed timeless have stayed relevant, have had one of the most beautiful stories in hip hop, the fact that they got their stuff back. Um, the fact that, that, you know, they stayed up every day. I never, I never seen them cry, I never seen them. I, they, 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 they real legends, legends. They real men of men. I'm proud to call them my friend. I'm proud to call them wh wh exactly who they are, impeccable individuals. These are great men, and we all should give them their flowers. Not just drink champs. Everybody should got to give them their flowers. These are part of one of the greatest groups of all time. Mm. And I say that without stuttering. Mm. In case you don't know who the fuck we talking about, so mom one only. They like motherfuckers. Oh. Oh. Man, y'all are intro, legends, man. The intro like, was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, are you started already? I like that. Are you started already? <laughs> you were, what, what, pause, pause didn't waste no time. He didn't waste no time. Yeah, how you, <laughs> he drank it before? He said, you said drink, chance. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, guys, man, um, last time you guys were here, we were speaking about uh, the resurrection of getting back you guys' uh, material. How did that, how did that uh, play out? It played out pretty successfully. Wow. Um, what ended up happening, Tom Silverman ended up selling the entire Tommy Boy catalog yes. to a company called Reservoir Media. Faith, with, Faith Newman. Which our friend, yeah. sister, right. person who's yep. been mm -hmm. our partner in hip hop and wow. looked out for all of us. Wow. You know? Wow. Yes. Big up Faith. Yeah. Big up Faith. Yeah. Big up Faith. You okay. know, and made the... Her and her partners made the deal right. Okay, you know? so I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't want you to reveal anything that you guys can't reveal. But for people, for people who's sitting in your situation right now, um, what can you say about like how, how did y'all go about this? Um, what was this? A sit down? Y'all had some coffee and yeah, and because one thing about y'all, let me just tell you something. And I know every rapper gets hated on, right? But one thing about y'all, I, I don't see no one hating on y'all. Mm, like, mm. I'm not saying y'all got haters. I know y'all got haters, haters <laughs> but I don't see it. Yeah. So it's like, to me, everybody wants to see y'all win. So how did y'all go about getting b back to rice? Well, if I could jump in, like, mm. after we did mm. Drink Champs, wow. that helped start, like, a momentum as well of having these, these discussions with... Mm -hmm. You know, the owners of Tommy Boy at the time. Mm -hmm. um, every now and then they would come to the table with something. Was a little better. Right. But still needed some work. Right. Without question, I'll make sure the whole world know this man right here was not backing down. <laughs> he was not with. He was hitting me after we did the episode like, yo, keep, <clears throat> let's keep putting the pressure. I remember you uh, was hitting yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. I'm just being, if if I can give you that bit of like yeah. inside stuff, there was moments where like, yo, I could be like, yo, this is good. Right. God bless the dead day. I could be like, yo, this is, I think we can kind of work with this. Mace was like, nah. 
Uh, can't work with this. Mm. And I love y'all and y'all my brothers, but yo, man, we shouldn't settle. Why? Right. You know what I'm saying? There should be no level of settling. Right. And um, we kept pushing, and until it would be times where they go dark, we chilling, we doing what we do, they come back around, hey, yo, we've made it like this, and makes us like, nah. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a unique situation knowing that um, it never happened to no other group or artist like this. Wow. Where mm. the label would fold and the groups or artists keep going. A lot of times when the label fold, the artists and group fold as well. Right. right. You know, trying to figure out situations. We have been able to really sustain. Yes. Mm. We had been able to carry on as far as putting out music, Kickstarter, especially with the Kickstarter. I'm so proud of that because that got nominated for a Grammy at that. So, mm -hmm. wow. And Tommy Boy trying to make their comeback, their comeback was based on us still being mm. a part of wow. it. Mm. So those are the things I understood. And here it is, it's like, yeah, we humble guys, but I know my value. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I know, I know, I've been playing this game since high school. Yep. All right. You know, and it's been on, on the job training. You're a right? veteran. Right? And yeah. behind it all, it's like, this was the moment in time I had to really take on my leadership and the crew. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody has their warranted leadership at moments and times, and it, it just comes at divine moments when God is calling. Right. And it was in my spirit like that, like, nah, we can't do this. And there was times I was almost buckled. Right. Mm -hmm. Almost buckled a few times, you know, and I got to be honest, you know, I got a good woman on my team, my wife, right. you know, with the help of her counsel as well. Right. You know, it helped my decision. Right. It mm -hmm. helped our decision. Because you know? for, for a long time, the music wasn't even available, right? Not no. at all. Over 20 no, years. It no, wasn't like, available you know, at all. For, for, for 20 yeah. years, we out there performing music that people can't even get. Yeah. And then now we also hit the stage rocking with the gorillas for over 10 years and in the front of a mega new audience and they can't even get it. Right. You know? <clears throat> so the so, only they didn't could the only thing they could get was like physical releases that were all tape that EFN had. Look, yeah, like, like EFN you know, stayed. they they finding like, you know, there you go. <laughs> like whatever little thrift store, vinyl store and we ain't, like spots yeah, Japan we ain't necessarily you, benefiting you know. from it, but it's even keeping the time we even released it for nothing. We released it for free like 2010, yeah. around the 30th and 30th anniversary. We connected with some website that was in in Russia somewhere and took it from them and gave it to the audience for free because it's just wow, wow. one available, you know. Wow. So just yeah. the. Being a true artist, you know, wanting the people to just have your music. That right. was what it was, what it was about in that moment in time. Like, right. you know, when Warner Brothers had it, it was like so many infractions around it, which the samples was the biggest issue. Right. right. Mm -hmm. They didn't think it was worth putting it out. So mm -hmm. wow. under the Warner Brothers system, it was all stuck. Wow. But yeah, when, the, when he made the sale to Reservoir, mm -hmm. you know, Magic happened. Yeah. You know, they made it work. They made it they made it comfortable for us to really get back to work. Right. Yeah. Because I, I, I could I can remember like hearing when y'all got y'all rights back, how hip hop just supported y'all. Mm -hmm. Like and I believe it's a rumor, like every one of y'all albums went sold a million or something like that. Straight like, um, streaming that or, like I think it went straight to number one. So, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. make some noise. That <laughs> It's been phenomenal. Yes. No, it has. I mean, like, there's points where there's lists, like a uh, catalog list, mm -hmm. um, and it can be like Fleetwood Mac number one, mm -hmm. De La Soul number two, Thriller number three, right. like Three Feet wow. and Rising. Like, it's there's been like we're charting like we've never charted before, like releases. Are now being these re releases on this charting really high, and this is a blessing. You know, because hip hop saying? really, really loves you guys. Yeah, bro. man. We really, a... we, we, the people really yeah, love man, you guys. Real, man. Man. Yeah, man. That's real, man. That's real. That deserves it. That deserves it. We're going to get into it. What's that like... shirt say? That's that, what is that? Oh, this, you know, we did, we well, did the Pharrell week. joint last week. Oh, last something week. Oh, water, something, you know? something in the water. Yeah, I didn't yeah. want to get my sneakers messed up this year. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go to that goddamn concert, my sneakers don't come back the same. I would kid you not. There no was doubt. something in the water. There's something in the dirt. There's something in the goddamn beach. That shit is... How about that? Big up Pharrell, man. No big up Pharrell, no my doubt. brother. Big up Virginia Beach. Oh, man. Hold up real quick. With the re-release... 
just for anybody that's wondering and under, trying to understand the, the the technicality of the business side, all those issues with the samples from before, how does that get resolved when it gets re-released? Now? Great question. Well, we, we spent, once we got everything in order with Reservoir, we spent pretty much almost a year just... A year and a half. Yeah, taking care of whatever needed to be um, Because now you care own 100%? Yeah. So wow. you now are, have to administer and make sure everything yeah. is taken care of. Wow. So it was... Um, but even the beauty in that was coming across these different publishers and artists. Yo, they were really helpful, man. They mm -hmm. really they wanted, wanted to see, see it done. Had, we had a lot of yeah. support you know, from even the people who owned the copyrights yeah. and the samples. It was... Like I say, it was a real unique situation right. based off what we exposed to the world by fighting for our rights. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You know? That's dope. Yeah. Nah. No, honestly, yo, y'all helped. That's right. Jay helped. Yes. Mm -hmm. Questlove and Black Thought. Yeah. When you say Jay, you're talking about Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. He decided to not, he called up, he had Elliot Wilson called up and was like, yo, what y'all want to do? Y'all want to stream it? Not stream it. We was like, not stream it, right? Don't stream it. And he decided to not stream it. Yeah, I and remember that. that. And, how, how do and I that, get that? And that set the tone for Spotify not to do it, yes. Apple not to do it. Wow. Because Title didn't do it. The whole movie. No. Was and you know, yeah. and you know how the muscles behind the scene can get choke us. you out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, they helped us out. Yeah, that, that's 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 very dope that you just said that because mm -hmm. I totally forgot that. I, I did go over my head, mm -hmm. but I just remember. That's my first like time of me being proud of hip hop. Mm, it's like right. that was like you know, we, we usually have discrepancies against each other, but that was mm -hmm. the first time I seen hip hop come all together and was like, nah, they doing De La wrong, and everyone. It, what is it? I may have been in the room with Jay about three times in my whole career. Right. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Right. And for that to be. I know we all mean something to each other, yes. whether mm -hmm. we rival We're or not. We're fraternity. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We are, yeah. Yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's, it's def. I'm sorry to cut you, but it's definitely a blessing. Even to fast forward up to like this previous Grammy Award right. and the 50th uh, celebration and like running to different people there, you know, uh, seeing Rick Ross clapping five and I'm about to let go and he grabs me in. He's like, yo, man, I'm mm -hmm. proud that y'all got y'all yeah. music back and we waiting. Like, it was just great to see people right. just really coming together to see what, you know, needed to be done and the fact that we got everything back and they were just, just as proud, you know, like you said, like a fraternity all proud together to see yeah. the culture. It showed a real community in hip-hop. Yeah. Like, it yeah. is like, a community. They, I forgot there was a community. Right. <laughs> like, I forgot because we're you know? always at each other yeah. and that was the first time, like, you know, um, seeing people fighting with you guys. Yeah. I, I felt like we was fighting with you guys. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, you know, like how they, they, they see people uh, 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 marching mm -hmm. and it's like I feel, I feel like I was outside marching with y'all because and I got the same story that's what's crazy about it it's like I got the I thought it was the same fucking fight the same exact fight so it's like this is something this is something that like I, I'm proud of hip hop I'm proud of hip hop for making this happen I'm proud of you guys for sticking yeah. to your guns I'm Thank proud you. of it because now I know to stick to my guns you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying because there's been times I wanted to give up like yeah. you know what I mean and I think about it you know after 30 years they're supposed to give you back your rights anyway. Mm -hmm. My shit is 25. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm yeah. like five years away, but yeah. I would love to make this deal. But it's it's crazy. So for me, seeing y'all gives, gives gives me hope because yeah. when you think about it, this is our music. Why shouldn't we own it? Mm -hmm. Like, why shouldn't we own at, it? Like At least be partners in it based yes, on the right. criteria of what we mm -hmm. trying to look for in certain deals. You know, mm -hmm. some people aren't able to fund themselves, mm -hmm. you know, so you are looking for some type of funding and you may have to give something up to gain right. something, right. Mm -hmm. you know, but as time goes along, I always looked at it like a, a job. When you right. first come in for a job, mm -hmm. you don't expect to be manager the first day. No. But if you do tremendously at the job, you do well, you look to get a raise at mm -hmm. some point, right. you know? Mm -hmm. A lot of us haven't gotten that. You know, a lot yep. of us haven't got that raise or them benefits. And even for the deals that the labels still cut, you know, they right. need to offer more benefits. Right. Medical benefits. Yeah. Something like that. Dental, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, something yeah. such as that because it's work for hire. Yeah. No different than any other employment. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. and then, and then it does shit, it should change based on success. Yes. That, right. that work for hire should turn into some sort of partnership. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. 
And I, and I think what, what's happening is we're all lifting the veil of the absurdity of these agreements that say in perpetuity in the yeah. universe. Oh, man. Because like, we didn't know what perpetuity, yeah. I mean, oh, we didn't know what digital rights yeah, was. I kept asking, what yeah. does that word mean? No one wanted to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so I looked it up <laughs> and I was like, hell to the dollar. This is crazy, bro. This is what? Yo, that shit is crazy. Because I thought about it when, even when, when I thought about it, and I never signed over digital rights. I never signed over digital because there was nothing called digital back yeah. then. I never signed over ringtones. There was nothing called nah, ringtones. Nah, we was out before Napster came <laughs> like, out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, but so. they covering it with that. Yeah. And, and for everybody listening right now, they covering it with AI too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah. understand what you're signing with this perpetuity in the entire universe. Yes. Right? Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. Yes, man. it's not. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it is wild. Yeah, Especially for the artists who are being able to capitalize off this you know, technical world Mm -hmm. of the internet and being able to... I mean, if we had that back then, we'd probably be able to cut better deals. 100%. Mm -hmm. The internet has gave these artists bargaining power. Mm -hmm. You out there building your own energy up and then they come in and scoop off your energy and maybe add the machine to take it elsewhere. Yeah, that's fine, but you done made million plus... Right. Off of doing your own independent thing, that deal structure should be a little bit more in your favor. Yeah, it's great you to know? see um, a lot of young kids very familiar with the data. You know, they can right. show them like, look, it's undeniable. I, right. I can see right here what I'm doing in this country. They understand their analytics. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they understand right. their analytics. <laughs> they understand. They working hard with AI yeah. off algorithms and all of that. <clears throat> we had to go visit a DJ. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, listen. Yo, yo, listen. I remember physically, if we, I didn't go to London, the record wouldn't go to London. Right. Like, I physically had to go to, to London. London. I had to go you to promote it. Every, no, like, not yeah. London. Every city you had to do yeah. in-stores. Yeah. 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 That's how we met. You yes. did an in-store. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's, that's crazy. Yeah, that's and nowadays, real. you could press one button and yeah. that should be everywhere. Yeah. Like, I remember literally NORE came out, it hit number one, and and every town that I had to go to, I had to go to every single town. They had to look at the what was was algorithms back then, and they had to say, okay, you're doing, you're not it's doing BDS. good. BDS, BDS, you're was, not was doing BDS. good in, yeah. in Philly, so they go to Philly, like physically do that. As of right now, you could just. Yeah, you can stream. You don't even have to leave your house. I, the pandemic had me pissed, pissed off. Mm-hmm. I said these niggas is dropping albums and staying in their house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they was like this. I'm like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Go out there and work, motherfucker. <laughs> well, we were doing the same thing with quarantine champs. I hated quarantine champs. <laughs> <But we laughs> it was a blessing for us. I hated it. You have been every moment of quarantine. I hated it. We did our I Zoom did, episodes. A, there you go. I'm and we kept our deal I'm, a, I'm a, like, you got to give me a five. I want you to smell my cologne. No, you know no, what I'm saying? No, I want right. you to feel me. Yeah, I want yeah. you to smell my bud. Did you even give him a blunt yet? Come on. <laughs> what kind of blunt, bro? Are you making us look crazy? Okay, yeah. Okay, you give him a <laughs> Don't drop my mm-hmm. Don't drop my mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, I'm a, I'm a personal guy, man. Hey, brother, yeah, I owe you some Daylight yeah. shirts. Come on, goddamn. Come on. So let me ask you about that. How about and during the time of of you guys? Did you you was in control of your own merch? Because I always yeah, see we've always been in control okay. of our own merch. Right. But you have seen mostly bootleg stuff out. There. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Charles, Charles got a bootleg shirt. No, on Charles, this. is that that's a yeah, 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 that's, that's bootleg. Bootleg. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I can't, I can't hate though. You, can't you, know hate you know what I'm saying? Damn, and, 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 and it's better than my shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that shit do look fly. You need to go shoot the match. You were like that. Uh, Cause y'all was like the first night collab, right? Y'all, y'all collab with Nike early on, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The dunk, the daylight dunk, the daylight dunk. Yeah, dunk. yeah, no doubt. How was that? How was that? Shit, we happen to be at the Magic. That was a- yeah. ASR. Some in San Diego that usually happens. Like this, uh, when we was doing things. Yeah, we, I think yeah. it was called ASR. Uh-huh. And we was we we was in we was doing some LRG. Um, the cold line. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah, just walking through the arena where they had all the booths set up. Ran into um, people over there at Nike. This brother uh, Robbie Jeffers who was working with them. And we, I think he's working between Stussy and Nike, and um, uh-huh. he we had a show out there like this some street fair they usually do. We had them come through, and then he just happened to just mention it like, "Yo, would you be down to do a dunk?" And we was like, "Of course." <laughs> and he made the call, and it just it just fell into place. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Damn, yeah, man, yeah, that's, that's really legendary. Nah, that's it took like, like a year from that meeting. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. 
No, that was really cool. Was you really got cool. your own fucking Nike. Yeah, man. Come on, guys. Yeah, dog. Stop being so yeah. humble. Stop being so humble. <laughs> 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 There's not a lot of people who can say that, nah, man. Nah, you really ain't. Shit. Nah, nah. It's, I'm it's dope. Man, yeah. Do yeah. flowers, man. Listen, yo, listen. Our show is about giving people flowers, mm. so we need to give you y'all flowers to y'all face, I'm face a fan to face, of the show. man to man. Where the show. flowers at, goddamn? Let's give you some flowers at, right. goddamn. And Mr. Lee's oh, always late at he's giving always flowers. He's always late. He's always <laughs> our Dominican friend. is always late. Come on, Mr. Lee, por favor, las flores, okay? Hey, okay, hey, come on. Hey. <laughs> yo, what are you doing? Diablo, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Holy man, be embarrassing, us, Lee. Mr. Lee. <laughs> We got a bootleg day like Shark Soul sh sh shirt on. <laughs> if you late on the flowers. Man, cool. All right. Yeah, man. Oh, man. I just brought you all so. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. True Goy, rest in peace, Dave. Oh, yes, man, yes, we, we, yes, you know, yes. for you to present it to yes, the family. If you yeah. can, if you can, yeah. you know. Uh, we yeah. definitely will. Yes. Oh, beautiful. So man. let's make some noise with Glade Flowers, man. Yeah. Yeah. New dog for this, like, getting a Grammy. I got quick time for slime ready? Yo, yeah, bro. Okay. No. Yes, man. This is yeah. another milestone. Yeah, man. Yes, man. We are. We are. Let, let me just tell y'all, man. We are huge fans. Got family to us, mm. and we are so happy for what y'all y'all accomplished. And, and as y'all oh, no, keep we going, appreciate this it. is um better than the Grammy. Come <laughs> on, man. Yeah, man. Go, go ahead. We, we using that. We taking that clip. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, this is hip hop, man. That's it's right. Yeah. That's right. Dead to the heart, B. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's all. Before you know, we go in the quick between time. this and hip hop honors VH1, mm. right. these two right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Make some noise. Go, man. And you guys, you guys had an album on Mass Appeal, correct? With, with Nas? It was supposed to be. It's still in play. Yeah. We just got to get it, you know, we got to get it done. You got to get you it know? done. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, some we, we hope to get done. I mean, there was a. There weren't a lot of rhymes that Dave completed because it, it, it was a Pete Rock and Premier Ooh. joint. Wow! Oh, was, that's, right. that's right. Yeah, the premium soul on the rock. So we got some stuff done, not enough, right. you know. And hopefully, we can just pull it all together. So, so, so there will be another daylight out. I mean, without question, there's going to wow. be daylight stuff. Well, I'm in the midst of. Yeah. Um, I'm in the process right now, working on the trilogy of artificial intelligence, the mm. third installment. Yeah. Are we breaking news right now? I feel uh, like we breaking news right well, now. <laughs> The third installment is being worked on as we speak. Like, yeah, for real. Like, this was going yeah, down. I mean, up. it was supposed to be a DJ related record anyway. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Right. So, I'm getting it done. Yeah. Uh, but now we, that everybody got one and two. Yeah. I can you know get what I'm saying? Out there. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, we, we, we definitely stand with work, music coming out, lyrics, daylight related stuff. We, we here. Like, me and Mace. Immediately, kind of locked in, and was just like, "Yo, man, we gotta, we gotta keep this going." Like, yeah. you know, as difficult as it, yeah. Like, I, I hit him with the straight, like, Raymo analogy from B Street. I was like, "Yo, man, we gotta turn this nigga's <laughs> death into a celebration," right. and he really felt that. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we really feel. You know, like speaking of, of that. Sorry to cut you off. I want you to get back to what you were saying. But I seen that with Dave Chappelle. Mm. When I, I, I felt like y'all counted it down. Was mm. like twelve. Mm -hmm. Then it counted it down yeah. for the thing to come. Like I literally, I literally tears came out mm. my eyes. Like, mm. and I seen how Dave Chappelle was mm. so happy for y'all. Nah, yeah. And that, that's 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 mm. the that's the thing about y'all. Like I said, I said it earlier. Is I don't see your haters. Like mm. I only see y'all supporters. Yeah. Like, and to me, to me, that's some honorable shit. Mm. Like you know what I'm saying? To see everybody from hip hop just come out and celebrate you guys. Like that's a beautiful thing, man. You guys are really icons. You guys are really legends. And yo, the, the the speak on that. And I saw you was saying like, yo, that was a joint you wish you was at. And yep. I bugged out because I, I I told me so I was like, yo, before Dave's death, dog. All right. Yo, you was on my list. Like, I was like, yo, I'm going to tell EFN. Uh, I'm going to tell Nori. I know uh, y'all here. Right. But, because this, this, this party was in play from wow. the jump. Oh, from I the, didn't know. We were already even talking about Drink Chance. Yeah, it was in play mm, from the jump. Before David Pat. Yeah, right. so, oh. yo, you were on my list to come through. But when everything happened with Dave, All right. it was kind of like, people in play that this was like yo we gonna reach out to these people it was like kind of cool and so when I was bugging when I saw you said yeah. like yo this yo, that was, was the joint I really let me, let me say this though <laughs> I say, you, I'm ain't, you ain't never needed no invitation no, 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 just wanna I, I, you I never needed one yeah, thank you, you never thank needed you, thank one you. I appreciate mm. that 
But my nah, dude, when I see real. hip hop celebrate y'all, like I said, no, nah, that was beautiful. I, that hey, was so mm, beautiful. You and I man. had a tumultuous moment at one time. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But yes, in yes. that moment, yes. you need to know yes. I showed up for you. That's right. You was real there. Talk. You was my DJ. Yeah, what was the tumultuous moment? The wild shit. Punk, watch this. The wild shit is that I almost said it last time we was here. Yeah, but I wanted to stay on course. I really wanted to stay on course. We gotta talk about that. Yes. No, water, no, no, he thug me out. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, he thug you no, out. No, he thug me no, out. That's my it, was, it was kind of ill. It was, that's my brother. It was the Puerto Rican Day Parade. What did you Day Parade? I don't remember. It was something. It was Puerto Rican Day Parade, right? I never experienced Puerto Rican Day Parade, so I didn't even know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? And Tommy Boy yep. called me to come DJ okay. for CNN. Yep, okay. You know, and yep. and I was also able to have my up-and-coming rappers rock after right. I did what I needed to do for them. Yes. You know? Yes, yes. But we got out there, I spoke to Nori two days before it, <laughs> trying to prep for it. He's like, nah, well, don't, worry, don't worry about that, just play the record. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Nori! Sounds about right! Sounds about right! Yeah, we, we, we seeing it, you know what I'm saying? We don't got to worry about all that, you know what I'm saying? We out here, you know? You don't need AI, you don't need I was like, yo, you sure? You know what I mean? Because I'm the one who like to prepare, you know what I'm saying? So I never experienced Puerto Rican Day Parade, yeah. you know? And... I'm looking at it from when I see it on TV, I see the floats and how it's all yeah. rocking and shit. Yeah. We get out there and Tommy Boy got us on like a pickup truck. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It was yep. all Fugazi to begin with. It was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh shit. I get out there, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Already off my experience from doing things, I'm going, oh and It's 100 shit. degrees outside, too. And it's hot than it's a motherfucker. Hot as fuck. So I'm already thinking about equipment fucking up and everything. <laughs> and immediately I play a fucking CNN record and it starts melting on the. Oh <laughs> my God. These niggas just get mad in the motherfucker. <laughs> And I'm trying to explain, like, yo, every time I put the needle on the record, the record is whelping up. Like, yeah, yeah. I didn't expect none of this to be like this, period. Like, we you literally, can relate. No, I know, we, I know, we, I know we literally on a pickup truck yes, yes, while yes. other floats is flying. Yes. Shit. We got a pickup truck. <laughs> we got a pickup truck yeah, where right. motherfuckers just holding signs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's right. Some I'm Fred like, oh, we look shit. like some half ass bad boy shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. He's right, Tom. So I'm still the cheapest cheap, cheap motherfucker. Man. And we out here, I'm rapping, and I see dudes get frustrated with me because the music, this is my perception of it, mm -hmm. the music ain't popping. Right. And we riding for a minute, and every right. time, and mind you, I done had mad copies of right. their stuff right. in my crate, along with right. other shit, right? Yeah. My young dudes, they stuff was on a hard drive. Right. right. The instant replay. Right. Mm. So. <laughs> yeah, we weren't professional at all. Yeah. <laughs> so, it wasn't even about. Well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. I, called, I called you with the prep. And now I didn't know yeah, nothing. No. I didn't know. I, like, I made I like, this whole shit fun. I like rehearsals. You missed out 20 years you, fucking with me. I had fun. You should have learned back then. Yeah. No, but back then, yeah. I'm not going to lie to you, I was young. And I just He would I, treat me how them young, young niggas treat him. Yes, I was a little He was on that shit. He was on that mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. all we did was our little performance and shit, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But it was knocking, I nah, gotta admit. It was yeah. knocking, I see niggas frustrated. Uh -huh. His man tried to grab the mic for my man, I done grabbed it back. <laughs> we go, we tested it back and forth. The show is still rocking, they still rhyming and shit. We moving, we moving. And we moving. Like, anybody that realizes like daylight and seeing it is beefing. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. We, 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 we professional, we make no, it we good. Professional. We, we make it good. I knew who had a knife, I knew who had a gun. I saw everybody with it. I saw the one who was grabbing the mic, he had the knife. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. Because like, he was grabbing, the, the dude that he was grabbing the mic from was super timid too. So mm -hmm. I'm like, nah, you not going to be timid with me. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? like, nah, nah, that's we, real you know, shit. And then Nori came over like, I knew he had to be the ambassador because he had all these niggas with him. And it was like, if he say it's go, it's go. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, you my he brother. Had all these, he, had, yeah, he had all these niggas with him. And, I did play like 
at the time, him and Bumpy wasn't getting along either. Right, I remember mm-hmm. that. So I did play mm-hmm. an intro, a, oh. a, a, a acapella thing. Bumpy did a song with me called You Don't Want to Bust That Shit. Mm-hmm. And he's on a song. So I played an acapella version of that before we got into our thing. Oh, you right. And Damn, then, your memory is good. And then he came How much weed you smoke? <laughs> I got elephant memory. Yeah. Okay. He came over, he came Yo. over. He came over, he's like, nigga, I don't even like Bumpy Knuckles. <laughs> At the time, I definitely did. Yeah, we've, had, we've, had, we've had a Bumpy Knuckles. We've had an AK-35. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Box. yeah. I'm looking Yo. around, I'm looking around, got my wife with me, I'm like, and it's just like five of us yeah. and my wife, you know what I mean? I definitely didn't like Bumpy Knuckles. At that yeah. time, I definitely did not like I was like, like look, wow. man. <laughs> If I did anything to offend you, <laughs> I apologize, man. You know what I mean? I said, but I did call you to prepare for this. And I said, I had no idea that it was going to be hot as fucking pitchers out here. And Ricketts was going to melt. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I said, look. And he was well, like, I apologize for not showing goes, up to rehearsal. He goes, he goes yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, I apologize for not no, showing up to rehearsal. You was going to be you was good for that moment, honestly. Yes. I was, I was, I was hurt for about three hours. Mm. But then after that, I was like, "He good, man. He yeah. good for that." Because oh, I man. know the shit that I done did. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, I'm getting the shit that I done fucking. Did. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, "All right." Yeah. Like, oh, this nigga's definitely terrorized some sound. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've had my fair share. Did, did y'all listen to new artists? Yeah. Are y'all into this? Yeah, yeah, hmm? yeah. Who, 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 who? who, who? Oh man, it's really hard to say, man. It's it's just I like more songs than I could say albums. Yeah. Okay. Like you I know? like Little Uzi Bird. I like him I, a lot. I, I, I actually got Bird. a beat that I think works for him. I don't know yeah. why you know I keep doing it. <clears throat> I, 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 I mess with him. I mean, yeah. I got I got kids that's in their twenties yeah. and thirties, so we talk music all the time. My right. son raps. You know what I'm saying? Oh he, wow! Yeah, and he's yeah. really good. You know? Wow! And I, I and as a DJ. Mm-hmm. I just DJ and a producer I look to stay connected right. you know thank I'm always trying to learn I stay a student to this shit yeah. wow and I it, gotta keep learning what's it can going. go anywhere it don't matter EFN gave up on this new generation nah man hey man it's not true it's not true it's, it's, it's out there I've never seen EFN play nothing new <laughs> but it's out he, there you know what I'm saying like you said like it could be Uzi it could be <laughs> EFN gave up on this generation be, I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think he gave up name one man Denzel Curry from Miami for one Denzel Curry okay. okay. Curry, he's older than you. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> I just playing Denzel. I'm just playing Denzel. It's a joke. Denzel, a joke. Saba are, is dope. Yeah. Pivot. Um, Who? Samba. Okay. Saba. Oh, Saba. La Russell. Russell's dope. Russ? La Russell. Um, La Russell. I think that's how you know. La Russell. Yeah. From the Bay. No, Lil Russ. Lil Russ. Lil Russ. Not Russ. Lil Russ. Yeah. Russ. It's a lot of dope. It's a lot I mean, of kids out know, here that's doing their thing. Yeah. We. we Coders, we though. 50 years old, y'all. Yeah. We 50. You know what I'm saying? I remember when we came, the generation before us wasn't fucking with us. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I think mm-hmm. what ended up happening, what ended up happening is cats become a force to be reckoned with. Mm-hmm. You may not like it, but it's in your conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. You got to at least figure out what it is that's got these kids rocking to it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I learned from George Clinton, anything that make the parents upset it's rocking. It's going. That's, that's what he's, he's going. basically said that on the show. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. smoked a lot too. He, he stood here and smoked a lot. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. I, he said I, the more they they hated on, he he's more interested. Yeah, he's more in interested. Yeah. In he drank too. I, I, I did not yeah. think he was going to drink. He no, nah, but it was, mind you, it was and not to cut you, but like me and him was just we did Coachella with Gorillas. We did. Yeah, he, like, he was showing me all the clips. He's like, so, yo, yo it was incredible. It was like um. The second weekend, we hung out with our sons. You know, right. I'm with my youngest son. He with two of his sons. And it was just dope. You know, my son taking me to different stages, like Yo Pierre. Um, what these kids, are, I think they call suicide, suicide kings or something yeah, like that. Suicide, yeah. yeah, So it was just dope to see, because I studied that. Right. The crowd's reaction, what they're doing, because I... We we always students of looking out people rock stage, the stage pre- stage presence yeah it's, all of that. it's a lot man it means a lot you know so and I'm into all that and I think and sorry to cut, but I think also the way that we used to discover music is different so for us in our generation like we want to like physically like be <laughs> somewhere and you we, we we saw these MCs coming up in mm-hmm. the club at, at a battle or or a DJ played it in a club when it was all new now streaming for me is harder to get into newer artists mm-hmm. because it's so much it's so much it's, coming it's at definitely you. a lot you know I mean I agree with you but 
I, I sometimes go down a rabbit hole with it. Like, right. you know, you went to one artist and they'll say, yo, if you like this artist, here's a similar artist. Right. And you just kind of just keep going with it. Yeah, so, sometimes they get wrong. It, well, <laughs> I, know, I know where you at with that. I, that's why I ask people to put me on and shit. Right. Yeah, me too. I'd rather get recommended in that aspect because it, it is a rabbit hole. You'll go deep down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you'll get caught up in your own personal feelings of what you like as opposed to balancing it out for you. Yeah. at least me for a DJ. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I try to balance it out. I yeah. try to understand. If it does not. <clears throat> He's exaggerating. I mean, right any, now. like, he, like he, I'm saying, he still he, hasn't named one artist. You noticed that? Right? I did. Denzel Curry. Yeah, that's it. And LaRusso. I mean, I don't even know oh. if I'm saying his name Lil right. LaRusso. And you, Co was it you Coast know Contra? Russ. What's what's the Coast Contra? Coast Contra. Off the dope. chain. There's a yeah. lot of dope. I don't artists. believe you at all. <laughs> My brother, ask these people. I support them all yeah, as all right. much as I can socially <laughs> yeah. on social nah, media. But nah. even down with you know anyone, Alchemist is. Rocking oh, with yeah. him producing, you know, June, Larry June is dope. All them cats, man. Yeah. There you go. Simba's, I like Yeah, Simba. man. That's Simba. my man. Like that whole movement that Muggs yeah, yeah. and, and Alchemist and all of them are messing with? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Shit, that Larry June album. Alchemist right got now like three crazy. children now. Join with him and Dick Sean? That shit is bananas. Random facts you, you know, just did. Yeah. <laughs> I called him the other day. He's like, I'm with my one kids. Dude that's said, not I even know you that people don't talk about enough is Toby Nwigwi. Yo, off the you know chain. I mean? Yeah. So just the level yeah. of the music creativity, he can spit. individuality yeah. is there. And, and, you know what I'm saying? He got bars. He can yeah. spit. You but know? That's the, we live in that in a cipher. I could put him in a cipher with some savages and he'll live. Yeah. For real. But, mm. but you know what's dope about now for artists like that is that they don't need the gatekeepers they don't. to right. find their audience. No, you're right. We're, we're all talking about different artists. Everybody's like, who, what, what? Yeah. And each of these artists we're mentioning have millions of followers, do their shows, go there to you go. festivals. You're they right. don't need us to even know who they are because no. they found their audience. And that's right. what's dope about it. No, it's today. really dope. And funny enough, as, as we were talking about a little bit earlier, yo, it, was, it was artists like that who championed on behalf of us because like they were saying like, yo, they all deserve their shit. Like they could talk that shit for right. us because right. they felt like, yo, I don't got no, no one over us. Yo, I, like honestly, I got no problem saying it. It was like this one lawyer on their side who was like talking to our lawyer and was like, yo, man, I got... I got um, clients that don't want to fuck with me mm. because That's they dope. know that I'm trying to not fuck with Dayla. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, trying to, like, fuck their shit up on behalf of Tommy Boy. Like, that's how much these young artists had our backs who we never met. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's, yeah. that's, 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 that's beautiful, man. Really. Right. Are right, you ready for a quick time slide? Let's go. Right, you want to explain the game? You guys get two choices. We pick one. <laughs> we don't drink. If you pick both or neither, we're right. drinking. All of us are drinking. Okay. Say okay. that again? Okay, hold on. Before I said it too fast this time. Yeah, yeah. You get two choices. Myself. You get huh? two choices. Uh -huh. Name, person, <laughs> place, and thing. Come on, Name what? what? Name, person, place, like a person, place, and thing. Do you that? get two choices. Hold on, hold on, let me explain. Okay, two choices. If you if you pick one, the non politically correct answer, you pick one of the two. Nobody drinks. If you say both or neither, which would be the politically correct answer, if you don't want to hurt feelings or gotcha. you, or you really mean both, <clears throat> you know, or neither, yeah. then we then we drinking. All right, I can get but, busy. Before we say that, we want a birthday that just passed. Happy birthday to our brother Haz. Haz it is Beyond your families. Give him, give him his flowers, give him too. flowers, God damn it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, bro. Be born. Yeah. The second guy. Huh? And, and we got we got you we got you cake and ice cream too. Sorry. <laughs> we, 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 yeah, it's there. Uh -huh. Yeah, I got it. You ready? I ain't get it though. Uh, 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 uh. You can start to like. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the second one. You go to the first one. Man, right? you saw this nigga's face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I want to get it. I want to get it. Got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, holy shit! Tribe, oh, okay. Core Quest, or Jungle Brothers? A Tribe Core Quest. Damn, y'all answered that way too fast. Hold on, let me get my shot ready. Try, okay. Try. Okay. Look okay, at you, you, you go to the first one. Black Dot or Styles P? Wow. Mmm. Mmm. I'm about to drink. <laughs> take, take a drink. Take a drink. Take a drink. That's pretty good. Oh, you, you got yeah. your shot right there, right oh, there. Okay. Salute. That's that yes, Japanese. Right? That's that Japanese. Yeah, pouring light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We pouring light. We pouring light. We pouring light. light. God damn, I can't. Hold on. 
Uh, Andy mm. or Major? This is a big debate here. Hmm. It's a big debate here. Me and him always disagree. Mm. See, I never had the experience of both. Mm. You know? And... and Nigga, very, don't give a big... What I, is it? I, I mean, it's hard to say. <laughs> cause, uh, here's the, I, I, I can see Indies doing business with Majors. You know? There's, there's, Which is what I say too. That's kind of my shit. No, that's my shit. That's my shit. I say, be it independent, so you could take advantage of the major. Because, I don't know, man. yo, man, that's how it's been since the beginning. Tom Silverman did it like that. Russell yeah. did yeah. it like that. Yeah. Like, you know, Raucous, everybody. Yeah. Raucous yeah. did it like that. You know, <clears throat> it's been like Def that Jam. since the beginning of the time. Right. So, I don't see that ever being an issue. It's just all about how the deals are structured. Mm. Yeah. Period. So what's that? Like, that's not like a shot to me. Yeah, yeah, that's a shot. Like <laughs> so that's wow. both. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's both. That's yeah. both. Yeah. Where? Where? Okay. Where? Where? This? Oh, oh, we we missing a shot over here. Oh, she I ain't got none. She here. Mm. Oh man. Salud. 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 Cheers, fellas. Salud. Thank you. Thank you. Shit. Okay. But he didn't start drinking till he was like forty. <laughs> <laughs> He started drinking until he was 40. No, I got it. What are you talking about? <laughs> to say you started the last drink chance. <laughs> I smoked weed for the first time. Well, I did a... Yeah, that was I, some, I took a hit. That was some sucker shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, what? Because he did it. pressure you, yeah. bitch. <laughs> he's only saying on that here? because I did it without him. Yeah. Oh, he smoked the blunt without me? It was like we made a pack. Without you? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be mad. Yeah, I'm going to be mad, you know too. Yeah, I'm on your side. I'm going to be mad, too. I'm going to be mad, too. If, if EFN smokes some weed with somebody else other than me, <laughs> he can slightly get a pass because it was with Chappelle, you know? Yeah. Okay, all right, yeah, all right, yeah. But, nah, but, yeah. You know, even yeah. Chappelle know better. Yeah. Right? Ch 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 Chappelle and Prince gets a pass. Yeah. Like, if you smoke yeah. with Prince, I won't be mad at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. And he snatched it from Chappelle. So yeah, I did, I did. Damn, yeah. holy shit. You got aggressive with yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it was, it was kind of like after the Webster Hall joint. Uh, Chappelle went to do something Some comedy shit I fuck with him And then afterwards He did like this little Toast to Dave And he was just like You know right. we had already did Like fucking like Ten I shots was, You were well, in the moment For sure Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And so he was just by they himself And I was standing there And he was just in his own mind He was like For Dave And he took a puff And I snatched it And I said the same thing I'm sorry that was my alarm And um Yeah so Everyone saw me do it And bugged out immediately And it was like Smiles, my my romance mm -hmm. like puff more. My wife was like there, like no, nah, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I can't tell nigga because I had already did like eight <laughs> shots. <laughs> so I don't, I really don't know. <laughs> Being honest, I don't know. I don't, oh, I don't know. Uh, where we at with this? All right. Um. Oh yeah. You uh, you wanna go? I got. It. I got this one. I got this. Go ahead, one. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Q tip or Pharrell? Q tip. Q tip. Damn, oh, they, damn. They, 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 <laughs> they answering mad. <laughs> All right, Black Star or Dead Prez? Black Star. Black Star. Jesus. Tupac or DMX? Tupac. Tupac. Man, they are good. <laughs> They're good, man. <laughs> the fuck? I was... Primo or Pete Rock? Mm, take a shot. Mm, I got to take a shot. <laughs> Stop the call! <laughs> I ain't trying to get that call, nigga. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, I'll leave that. He took his job mad fast. Okay. Nah. Ooh, this is a good one. You got it or you want me? Yeah, y'all think you should say this. <laughs> Jada Kiss or Nas? I got to take a shot. I got to take a shot. Okay. Does that go for both of y'all? Yeah, I got to take a shot. Yeah, I'm taking a you shot. You got someone for that one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got some MC brain going on right, right. there. I'm a big He's fan. He's definitely breaking down some lyrics yeah, right now. He's breaking some shit down. I You're overdigging it. All right, let it go. go. Okay, I'm bars. Go. Okay, bars. Yeah. Okay, bars. <laughs> let it go. Yeah, yeah, let it go. Wow. That's a good one. Beat Street or Crush Groove? Beat, Beat Street. <laughs> Yeah, they in cahoots though. Yeah. Like when they when they yeah. stay together, <laughs> that's, like that's, that's, that's a real group. Yeah, that's a real group. Yeah. yeah. Easy E or Nipsey? Easy E. Easy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Biggie or Big L? Big. Big. Rest in peace to both. Big. Oh, he's big. 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 Notorious. Notorious. Okay. 80s or 90s hip hop? 90s. 90s. Mm. 90s, nigga. 
90s hip hop. Yeah, I'm going yeah. 90s too. 90s hip hop. Red Alert or Kick Capri? Mm. Kick Capri. And, oh, I'm surprised. Hmm. <laughs> it is, I was, for a DJ, it's tough. Yeah, it's a tough one based on what they both really great at, you know? Right. It doesn't make one not great, but you're going to make me choose. Right, right. It's Kick Capri. Yeah, I have to choose Capri. Overall, okay. worldwide, what he's done in the arenas, he's actually, Capri, Capri is actually, has been the first DJ to make the DJ actually look like an artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. yep. Yeah. yep. No. Big up Kick Capri. Take center stage, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yep. And for the, and for and, the record. And was selling, selling out. Like, he was getting oh, paid yeah, just yeah, as yeah. much mm -hmm. as the artist. Yeah. <clears throat> Not more. Yeah. 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 And for the record, the... These questions are, are meant to because we want to talk about all these legends yes. the conversations, yep. not mm -hmm. this one or the other. Mm -hmm. No, nah, without question. Yep. First yep. to grab the mic, mm -hmm. rock the crowd, maybe next to DJ Hollywood, but mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. way Capri does it, truly like DJ Hollywood. Wu Tang, Wu Tang, I don't want to go mm -hmm. tap in the day with my honey bun. Mm -hmm. Give me some mm -hmm. of that yum, mm -hmm. yum, yum mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. I go to bed. Look at you, young niggas out there. Look at you, young niggas. Hold on with you. Snappers. Yeah, you whip a snappers. <laughs> you got yeah. this. Coogee rap or Kumo D? Coogee rap. Coogee rap. Damn. We need Coogee rap on here. Yeah, we do. Coogee rap. Moni Love or Roxanne Shante? Roxanne Shante. <sighs> yeah, I think you Wait, Moni Love Roxanne? Roxanne Shante. Yeah, Roxanne Shante. Moni, my sister, but. Roxanne Shante. We was trying to. But um, Moni would probably say Roxanne Shante. Yeah. We was trying to get Moni to guest host here. Oh, yeah, she's yeah, in yeah. London, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She... yeah. All, right. All right. Yeah, you can ask the next one. Rick Ross or Fat Joe? Fat Joe. Fat Joe. Yeah. Rock Kim or Karis One? Karis One. Karis One. Go to the next, next one. Yeah. Big Pun or Guru? Big pun or guru? Guru, yeah. Pun. Pun. Rest in peace to both. I love how they on the same. They don't even like, look at each other. <laughs> they ain't even looking at each other. I'm watching all the human behavior. <laughs> They're good, man. MOP or Mob Deep? Mob Deep. Wow. Hmm. Nah. MOP is. MOP. Okay. Wow. okay. 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 So that means we're drinking. I think we got to drink. Well, you guys don't have to drink. You, you guys don't have to drink. We got to drink. We got to drink. We got to drink. Salud. MOP for me. Yeah. I got to drink? No, no, you don't have to. Mm. Mm. <laughs> LL or Big Daddy King? Mm. I drink. <laughs> <laughs> LL mentioned me in the other day on. Uh, um... I saw you went live with him last night. Was it last night? I went live? Are you <laughs> Were hilarious. Oh, really? They're like, you're doing drink chats right now, no? <laughs> Yo, I'm big. I woke up in the morning. It, it was Charlie Mac and LL and you. I don't remember nothing. Yo! <laughs> oh, my God. I, I looked, I said, why did he tag me? I was mad because, like, no, we got drink chats tomorrow. Why the fuck are you doing drink chats right now? <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. We got oh, a balance. It was up, a great day yesterday, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Queen Latifah or MC Light? Which is a great versus, by the way. <laughs> we need both of them here, please. Yeah. One. I'm going to have to go with Latifah. Mm. Yeah, Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. Okay. Queen Latifah. This is my, my, my favorite. You didn't have one. to drink, You didn't have to drink. Oh, that was from the Kane LO. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Okay. <clears throat> this is my favorite. This is my favorite one of, of all of these questions. Wu-Tang or N.W.A.? Wu-Tang. Wu Tang. That's the East Coast jump right out of you. <laughs> yeah. The East NWA, Coast jump right I mean, out of you. NWA is amazing, but yes. Wu Tang. I would say NWA has been one of the biggest inspirations. Yeah. For wow. us, especially for us live show. Yeah, for us. Our soul. Really? Wow. Wow. How, yeah. how so? We toured with them we in '89, and it was a wow. lesson what learned. What a tour yeah. that must have been. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah, the Nitro tour. A Nitro tour. Was LL Cool incredible. J, us, Slick Rick, 
NWA, Kane, Kane Public oh Enemy. That went to rehearsal. EPMD. They definitely went to rehearsal. That definitely went to rehearsal. Uh, <laughs> nah. Everybody came with their A game. Yeah. Wow. Like we, yeah. we was the new jobs. Yeah, we was the shit. new ones. Yeah. So what did you, you know? get from NWA that you, Yo, you they had that inspired you? The most incredible stage show. I mean, their stage presence. They, it was like watching a Broadway play. They had get the fuck girls out of on, the, on the... On the they had the, the shit set up like a block. Right. And on a, and a street pole with holes on the corner and yeah. shit like that. They on Drake, stage? On yeah. Stage. Oh, Drake, Drake, Drake DJing on two garbage cans and shit. I mean, mm-hmm. you yeah. DJing on two garbage cans. They got police sirens on the speakers and shit. Rises and shit when niggas is jumping off. They bring out DOC first. Yeah. Then, um, no, first is... Not is, DOC. DOC. DOC first. Then Yella. And then, then, uh, uh... Yellow go up and DJ mm-hmm. and Dre and Ren and Ren comes out of these like manhole shit. Like it was it was amazing. And yeah, I've never heard of this. Yeah. Shit. Then, 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 then Cube and then Easy would be last. Easy yeah. was last. They they kind of did for me what I felt like Wu Tang should have did, like in terms of breaking it up, opposed to coming out always all together. Like, right, right. They really like. Well, Wu started to do not. They began to uh, do aren't that. Aren't y'all the Wu Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nas and Wu. That's amazing. Yeah, because I remember one show we did with them in like Switzerland somewhere, Denmark or something, mm-hmm. and they all came out one by one, one by one. Yeah, and the way we brought Capadonna out was fucking nuts. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But, yeah, yeah. But nah, NWA definitely. <laughs> but <laughs> Wu Tang, Wu Tang, I got people. I'm saying it. I remember I was on the tour with Keith Ferry, and um, Method Man was hosting this show. So before I would come on, Method Man would go. And he would hype up the crowd. And I was like, I don't want you to hype up the crowd. <laughs> like, can you, you on Keith Murray's tour bus? Can you stay on Keith Murray's set and that's it? <laughs> like, I remember being so mad because who the fuck wants to go after a person walking on people's hands? Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was walking yeah, on people's hands. That, yeah. I'm like, I don't want to do it. I don't yeah. want to do one more after that. After that. He's like, that's a lot to live up to. Come on. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, can't, I can't fit that. I can't go. If I walk on people's hands, somebody going to fall. You know that's what I'm saying? Dope. Somebody going to fall. It's going to be something. Well, I remember that. Uh, big up Method Man. That's nah, my boy. Big up to yeah, Meth, man. without question. Yeah, uh, okay, man. so let's, let's finish this up, and then um, we'll get back to the yeah, interview. Video okay. Music Box or UMTV Raps? Mm. Video Music video Box. Video Music Box. Yeah. Big up Ralph McDaniels. All right, up, Uncle Ralph. Okay. Nino Brown or Frank White? Nino Brown or Frank White? Nino Brown. Hmm. Mm, Nino Brown. Love. I, I love how you had to think about this one. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there like, hmm. <laughs> New Jack City was dope. Frank was quiet with his ruthlessness, so I know what you're going for. I know what, what? you're saying. I don't know if New Jack City was really based on a true story. You yeah. know what I mean? It's halfway. You know? No, um, because it was um, what is it supposed to be based on? On the Carter? Right, that's what it's it seemed like. It's based on a couple of people's stories. Yes, right, right, right. right. Mm. I gotta go with Frank White. Okay, Mm. that means we got a drink. Yeah, that means we got a drink. (laughs) Salo, I got a drink. No, no, yeah, 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 no, no. (laughs) Macy didn't have to drink that. (laughs) No, let him go. You know what's crazy? (laughs) Let him go. My bad. It'll be, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. interesting. You know what's crazy? Let him go. It's interesting to 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 hear you say that. There's a there's a um. There's a, a story about what Scarface is based on. Scarface is based on five different characters yeah. from, from Miami. Yeah. Oh, from the Cocaine so, Cowboys Yeah, from era. Cocaine cow, Cowboys yeah. era. So yeah. it's crazy because Scarface is based on a real story, but mm-hmm. it's based on five different five individuals. Different. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So they put them together. And it's crazy because I know one of them. <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? No, uh, no, no, Mickey. No, it's not based on Mickey Monday. No, 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 no. The guy that owns Street Oh yeah, yeah. Like this guy, he looks so cool. He 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 wear glasses. He and then and then he, and, and you'll just sit there and, and you'll be like, hey, so how you doing? You know? He'll be like, hey man, you know, I used to sell drugs to the church. You'll be like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> <laughs> he looks so cool. You're like, no, it's no way. And um, and that dude is Cuban. <laughs> yeah, he's Cuban. He's yeah. yo, oh my god. Like you got to meet yeah. him. He's fucking <laughs> hilarious. Um, I was I was sitting down having um lunch. I was sitting down having, damn, I was having arugula salad. I was sitting down having lunch, and he he saw me, 
And then Fat Joe came in the restaurant and it was like some ironic shit. And he was like, I just knew this guy was somebody. So he said it to Fat Joe about me. He was like, I knew it was somebody. And I looked and I I couldn't, I couldn't, because he, he looks like a like a normal person. Mm. Until he says something, he's not normal. <laughs> he's not normal. Like in the he's most. He's like, I told you a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, like, Tony, like <laughs> Tony, he got this shit. I told you a long time and, ago. And he hates Yo. It. He's in a book and he hates it because like how they described him, he hates it. But mm. it's, it's crazy. So the, when I say that, that's what Nino. Brown is kind mm-hmm. of like based on. Okay, this is one of my favorite questions too. Analog or digital? Analog. I'm an analog dude. Yeah, analog. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I always say analog was better because like if we had to do a record together, we had to be face to face. You couldn't send me yeah. you know, a two inch reel. You couldn't yeah. send me a reel. Like those reels was like little doors. Mm-hmm. Like, so like you couldn't send <laughs> little doors. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. But you know what I mean? Like, no, no. Those just, like that shit was a session. Like a to have a session in the 90s, you had yeah, to dog. physically yeah. be in shape. Yeah, like yeah. you had the whole album. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That shit edit by cutting the tape. Yo. Mm-hmm. Two to four tapes. I always tell people, I said, yo, Super Thug is one take. Like a lot of people don't understand what 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 mm. I did that in one take mm. because I didn't know how to punch in. The, oh, I actually was counting his bars. Yeah, what 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 what, 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 what one what 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 what, 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 what two. two what what that's how I counted bars. Oh, so that's the reason why. Yeah, and and I had to do this shit in one take. So um, when I left, I remember Pharrell saying, "I said, yo, all we need is a hook." And Pharrell said, I, "We got the hook." And I said, "No, we don't." And he took my ones out. What, 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 one. What, 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 two, what. He took those wow. out and he left it there. I was like, they're going to laugh at me. And he said, you're going to laugh all the way to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> you, I believe you did. I believe you did. I believe you did. <laughs> So, so for real, thank you. Uh, you were right. You were right. Sorry. Twenty five years later, let me admit it. Oh, you were right. Shit. Yes. Oh man, I'm drinking. This is. I'm so excited. Okay. Last this is, one. The last one for this. And this is the only one that I really feel like isn't a trick question. Loyalty or respect? Hmm. I say respect. I say it's circumstantial for the most part because the person who is loyal to you can lose respect for you mm. but still stay loyal to you. Mm. You know, there's that loyalty that's attached to love mm-hmm. that people can be unconditionally attached to. But they don't necessarily regardless. respect you. Re- right. necessarily yeah. respect you or lose respect for you behind something. They can something, lose it and gain it. it behind something you've right. done. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, but the deep-rooted love can remain their loyalty. I mean, that's why and, I, I and, definitely and, say and, respect. Yeah. And respect, though, you cannot necessarily have anyone's trust. Damn. Mm-hmm. You got too deep. Yeah, yes. Fuck it. We all, all right, got to take a shot. Take a lot. So that's why we keep it simple. We <laughs> say both. Yeah, I always take both when it comes to that one. Please give it to You got deep. What's the answer? Hey man, yo, we, we I say, for it. I say you gotta have it all. Yeah, I, I yeah. say both. I you say gotta both. have it both. Yeah. You know, mm. you gotta have the loyalty and the respect. Mm-hmm. You know, because when you also a person who's conditioned with a lot of loyalty and you feel like you lost respect, that's something like you know, that's a sense of pride you lose when mm. you feel like people don't. You lose respect from the people you love, mm-hmm. right? I, I love that. All right, nigga. I, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the shots did. All right, Google. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know. We family, right? Yes. yes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, um, I always wanted to ask y'all. Like, I, I went through y'all catalog. One of my favorite records, every Saturday, I want to hear Saturday. Mm-hmm. Did y'all make that record on Saturday? <laughs> nah, but the crazy thing is, I put that record together and it wasn't for Dayla. Boom. What? Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> it was um amongst us as natives getting together, we Native st- yeah, yeah, right. we started doing these like little side groups where like say Mace, Dave, Mike G, Mike G Sam. and Sammy B was supposed to be this and, thing. And Mike G Jungle, Jungle Brothers, Jungle, not Mike yeah. Brothers. Another dude from my neighborhood. Yeah. Named Pop Life. They're supposed to be supposed to be a group called Kids, Kids on Zenith Ave. 
Me? It's almost like a Parliament Funkadelic yeah. type of thing. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Groups, okay. You know? Okay. Q t- yeah. Q tip, Africa, Juju from B Nuts, mm-hmm. what? and me, we wow. were the Fabulous Fleas. Ooh. Wait, wait, time out. Yeah. Say that again? Q tip, <laughs> Africa. <laughs> so I can look at him. <laughs> Q tip, <laughs> Africa. Africa from Jungle Brothers. Juju. Jungle Brother. Juju from the beat, and that's was also native tongue. Yeah, and me. I forgot we, that. Yeah. yeah. Native tongue. Uh-huh. When, when, when we first was really starting to hang around Jungle, Juju was always with Africa and them because Juju, like, they beat shop together. So I thought Juju was a part of Jungle because mm. Juju was always with Jungle because they used to, him and Ban, him and Africa would, like, right. shop for, for records. But, uh, yeah, we were Fabulous Fleas. We did a demo and everything. That's an ill name, too. Yeah, Fabulous Fleas. Um... Juju did I got I got the tape of it Juju did just one record It was Called Fabulous Fleas Um Uh Africa did this joint Called The Night I Got Swatted It was banging Tip did this joint So I had to come up With something I was like damn man This shit is crazy So It's just one record I found overseas Um The Mighty Writers record I put that together I put all the stuff together The beat and everything And um That became A roller skating jam Called Saturdays And um the the rhyme style was based off of chic when it was like uh you know mm. so that's how we were supposed to rhyme over the record and then meanwhile Tommy Boy was sitting us like yo man everything is coming out dope this ring 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 record is is dope but we need something else so I asked them I was like yo man can I take this back. <laughs> And use it for daylight. They was like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And so the rhyme style became more of a singing thing. Five days you work, right. one whole day you're playing, and it wound up being Vinny singing it, and she just sung. Wow. sung. Yeah. Saturday, wow. yeah. Saturday. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. I yeah. never yeah. knew that. God yeah. damn it. Yeah, it was never so for daylight. I'm so glad I asked that question, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I asked that question. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. And I had to, by the way, when you say ring, 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 I had that in my on, on, on last. But let's also. Mm-hmm. Body. Mm. How did how did this record come come about? Jungle just showed up that day. If they would have showed up a, the the day after, they could have been on ghetto thing. They mm. just showed up the day we was working on that record. Literally, it wasn't like a planned thing. They they came by the studio that day. We was working on that record. And then we just kind of made it where, like, yeah, y'all talked about Jimmy. We talked about Jenny. When Jimmy and Jenny get together, what is it? It's Buddy. So that's how that record kind of came together. Yeah, it was just just like that. <laughs> Yo, I'm mad dumb as a young nigga. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I didn't actually well, only you sh- know that. You wouldn't have known that. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, I just now discovered that. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Jamie, Jenny and I was about to make it everybody. Yeah, like, That's how you know he loved hip hop. <laughs> yeah, yes, no. yes. yeah. stories like you know, yes. Yes. holy you know, shit. Jimmy's the man anatomy, yeah. Jennifer's the girl anatomy. Uh. You put it together. Sex is buddy. Right, but right. Yeah, that's what So l- l- let me ask about native tongue, right? Because I actually had a native tongue t shirt on, but I put it on and it was too tight on me. I said, let me, let me chill. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me get my life together. I didn't I, I'm glad because between me and Charles, we've been looking crazy out here. <laughs> we've been looking crazy out here. But, but that was like, like to me, like I said, native tongue, when I, when I thought of that, I, I didn't know. That that was like a, a crew, like mm-hmm. like almost like a Zulu super Nation, crew. Almost, yeah. right? And you don't see that no more. You don't mm. see like uh, a, a, a Q tip running around with like a De La yeah. Soul. You don't see a Buster Rhymes running around with mm-hmm. you know these, these. How was it being a part of Native Tongue? How was that? I mean, we were just friends, man. I know it sounds weird to say that, meaning like when we came into this. And we running around with Paul. Prince Paul, Paul. Yeah, Prince Paul could be working with <clears throat> MC Light. So then that's how we started hanging around First Priority Music, which mm-hmm. was Light and Audio 2. Audio two. And mm-hmm. Shout out Audio So it was two. like... The first record I ever mixed down was MC Light. Like, like Swinging. Woo. Yeah. Yep. With Prince Paul. Yeah, so... Word up. Shout out Prince Paul. <laughs> you, Yo! It was just like, you were happy to be down, dog. Right, like, right. Because before we came out, we were... 
in the Latin quarters and we would see, yo, they go Kane, they go this person, yo, they go Greg Nice. So like when you on, you hanging with everybody. Right. It just becomes like, but who after the day on day you really hang around with? And it, it just became jungle. Jungle brought through Tip. Right. So then Tip is down and then we meet Fife and Ali. You know, we just became crew like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, Buster just showed up at Calliope. Mm. I just feel like Buster was just yelling the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he sounded. That's I'm talking about when I met when I met Buster. Buster had to have been 16, and he wow. sound exactly the same way. Right, like his voice. His voice like I just couldn't believe he was 16. Buster called me the other day. I kid you not, right? Like th three times. So I'm thinking someone died. So I pick up. He like, Yo, God, I just want to let you know. I changed your, your lyric on the vocals. <laughs> <laughs> That bus called me three times because <laughs> he it's a long story um, we got Armani Wright remix together and like he's such a he's such an artist artist that I had said 22 on the re on the record but I, it's the year 2023 so he changed it mm. and he wanted to show me that respect mm. say yo you know I, I changed your vocals but I was like, you know, let's you bust around. You my, yeah. my brother. Yeah. I, 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 I respect you. Mm. But he's a very, he's an artist, artist. Yes, like, he is. For real, for real. Yes, he is. He is. The for scientist. Real. Yeah. For real. And it's incredible. Uh, yeah. Who? Yeah. Bust, oh, yeah. Bust, yeah. 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 He, he go every year. Yeah, yeah. He, he don't mind about his sneakers. Yeah. 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 And go, <laughs> going back to, to Native Tongues, it almost seemed like an extension of Zulu. Was mm. everybody a part of Zulu? Mm. No. At that point, not. Nah. Uh, maybe Mike G, probably. Mike G and F. Q Tip yeah. was. Yeah. It, was it, um, no? He became a part of Zulu? So, yeah, he did. He, yeah. did. he actually did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, but um, more, yeah, more so than those guys. Um, I, I was definitely heavily associated being around all the time. Right. Yeah. Right. And I think I've stayed associated longer than everyone else. Mm. Right. But um, yeah, it was all. Native Tongue was definitely an extension. Of Zulu Nation. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a relationship with um, Africa Bambada? I had a relationship with Bam. Okay. I toured with Bam. Mm -hmm. uh, me, Bam, Arthur Baker, um, uh, Danny Automator. Mm -hmm. we, we did uh, the Tommy Boy 20th anniversary tour. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, Tommy Boy's yeah. world. Yeah. Yeah. We would see Bam a lot, though. We yeah, would. We were, I would run into Bam a lot. Could just, I, would, I would be on a lot of DJ gigs yeah. with Bam. Right. You know? And just seeing, hanging out, being blessed to hang out at Red Alert's crib and, you know, all those Ooh. records and, you know, then heading up to the Bronx and you would see, like, we would be with the Violators, so we would run into Bam, we would see Jazzy J. So, yeah, man, it was... It was it, you, you say you was Violator and you you run to vi the... The Violators. Yes. Cause, you know, they ran with Red, you know, they... Yes. they they kept him right, you know, right. Baby Chris. So going up into the Bronx and messing with Baby Chris and all of them, we were, you know, occasionally running to Bam and them up there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because um, we had Crazy Legs on here, right? Mm. And Crazy Legs kind of implied that there was other people that was rocking the parties other than Cool Herc. Yeah, he said that Bambata bestowed it onto Herc. Yeah. That... that that mantle of him being the the first, mm -hmm. yeah, and it kind of hurt was my his, feelings. That was his senior. It kind of hurt my feelings because I had never heard that before. But I yeah. see other people say that as well. Mm -hmm. But what does y'all take on that? Like, you know, what I mean, um, I'm a drink to that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Me neither. I don't know what that means. Well, Both neither. Yes, yes, yes. Because I mean, I've, I've witnessed it. I've witnessed it be debatable. You yeah, because right. part of me. Not, not too many yeah. people debated Crazy Legs. No, that. they did not debate him. A lot nah. of people was calling, <clears throat> doubling him down, and, <clears throat> and we were like, "Get Cool Herc to come here." But Herc is that doesn't take away anything. From it doesn't take nah, away without question. But cool it Herc doesn't is for lack of a better term, the Godfather, right? Yeah. yeah. So I um, give him that. Yeah. I honestly give him that. I mean, it's something that I've been identifying with, identifying with since I was a child. Right. You know? And you I, know the first story to be told. I, I'm, I'm granted, it's even debatable when they even talk about what was going on in Brooklyn and what was there you go. going on in Queens. Yeah, that's what I was about you know to say. Yeah, but for that to be the monumental event that people identify with, yeah. Cedric and Cedar, <clears throat> yes. like that happened to be a dope fucking party. Obviously, right. you know right. what I'm saying? That people kept going to, not right. to take anything from anyone else, but. It seemed like the eyes was always on the Bronx and right. Manhattan. 
specifically Harlem yeah. when it came to the culture to begin with. You right. know, so I mean, any anyone's history, quite honestly, y'all is it's debatable. I mean, like what De La story? We Long Island? Nah, it's right. not. You know, but no. He was born in Brooklyn. I was born in the Bronx. Dave was from Brooklyn. We moved to Long Island. Like, there's just aspects of everyone's story that you can turn around and be like, oh, wow, extra P, he wasn't necessarily, like, maybe born in Queens. Maybe he's from Harlem. Like, no one ain't from where they, right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, So, I mean, like, I think every aspect of, of the story, there's always another layer to the story. Because, like he just said, like, what, that doesn't mean that, Brooklyn started rocking once Bronx was rocking. Brooklyn was up and running the same way. Right. Whose story gets told first? You know what I'm saying? So. And individually, as a group, each of you have your own perspective and might see things, your own history, even differently. Definitely. Well, we've seen things. Def we've right. experienced things. Right. Right. Yeah. Based on where he coming from, from the Bronx, and me coming from Brooklyn, and then migrating to Long Island, our journeys was different within hip hop. Dog, I was a little. I'm sorry to cut. I was a little kid when the blackout happened. Right. My aunt, 88, and mom, was it 88? Yeah. No, that was, was it that was 70, 78, wasn't it? 70, 78 or 76, something 76, like that. I was born in 77. 77. And the blackout happened. Yo, all <laughs> the chaos outside my window. My mother wouldn't let me look out the window. And that's when hip hop right. got its, you know. Got really. Because everyone was stealing equipment. Yeah, yeah. Where did you hear upgrade. that recently? You know, double visited. I, I respect you. Upgrade. Hey, you double visited. You know. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Oh, I heard that on Rob Swift's podcast. He, he talked about that, that everybody stole the equipment. Yeah. And all of a sudden, everyone had equipment. So before, was it an exclusive club that yeah. was DJ? Yeah. DJ Rob Swift? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he Executioner. got a podcast? Yeah, he, yeah. Does, he does. Yeah, yeah. He's that's, dope. that's one of the dopest DJs I've ever The whole crew. Yeah. Executioners? Yeah. Dope crew. And so he was saying that. And he his what he's throwing out in terms of like his perspective and the DJ, the history right. and the DJ is, is amazing. If you should check it out. Yeah. Because cause we're trying to get DJ EFN to go back to DJ. I still rock vinyl. He, he just wanted to go vinyl, though. I'm like, yo, get a fucking replay vinyl. machine. He, wa he wanted to have Boris, <laughs> him right there, have, have, have carrying crates. I, 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 I didn't transition. Yo, I, let me I, tell I, you, I, dog. I wanted to DJ my birthday party. Well, I wanted look, to, like, yo, like, I can tell you, dog. Us as. Us it's being animal. blessed. Put it like this. If I gave you these certain files, you might make a transition. <laughs> yes, yes. Because these, these certain files is only amongst the homies. Oh, uh, yo. <laughs> right, if you give me... Because uh, Native Instruments, they sponsored me and I didn't make the transition. <laughs> 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 Thank you, man. I love it. But I love my crates. I miss the days <laughs> of... I don't want to carry the crates, though. I miss yo, the days... Yeah. I didn't move on. I miss uh, the days of DJ EFN dog. being a DJ. <laughs> I miss... Even, us being on the road and Mace had to carry his crates yep. of records. That struggle is my people back, don't know what back, that is. My back is fucked up now yeah. behind that shit. Yeah. Back? For real. You I, know, I remember one time I was with um we was performing in Detroit and um uh, uh rest in peace, Jam Master J. And rest I told my DJ, I was like, yo, yo, go go get the equipment, go and jump on real quick. And Jam Master J would not let Butch Rock touch his equipment. Oh, mm. yeah, nah. I didn't know that was like a, 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 a yeah. stop for Yeah, because your shit is set to your... Like, I didn't know that. Like, he was like, yeah. what? You don't touch... I'm going to DJ for Nori right now. Mm -hmm. So Butch is like, no, yeah. no, no, you don't know when to yeah, drop a, it. It's a thing. And he said, uh-uh, nah, yeah. nah. no one touches my equipment. And I was People like... People would set up their setups next to each other if they were yeah. different DJs rocking. yeah. DJ set is almost like a drum kit. Yeah. 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 Yo, DJ see. niggas is petty. This I would bring my whole record <laughs> session to the club. That's a foul niggas. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm putting it all together. I'm just, yeah, DJs well, is very... Well, the way bad. technology has evolved, right. it's been able to make us work together. Okay. You know? But yeah. prior to that, it's just everybody got a certain hand weight mm -hmm. and the yeah. way they structure their needles and all of that. Yeah. And, and you don't want Remember they used to have like, pennies? Yeah, so well, yeah, yeah, you pennies. put it to, to some put the weight down pennies, on the needle. Some people got nickels. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah depending like, how yeah. heavy your hand is. Or, no. Right. So <laughs> look how happy he is. Look how happy he is. <laughs> he, he so loved. It was always an understood thing for those who really respect right. him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. That's true. You don't want. You don't even want to rock on the next man set. Right. Nah. Like I remember going to, to, to um, clubs, and I remember like Funkmaster Flex would like tell the DJ before him. Do not play these certain records. Mm. And I would be like, "What? 
So I don't know if that's like a respect thing too. It's like mm-hmm. if I'm the headliner, you can't play the record before me. Is that yeah, something? You, that, yeah, you exhaust the records that you know are going to rock yeah, the party, and right, the headlining right, DJ right. he wants that for himself. I mean, yeah, that's that's yeah. debatable <clears throat> amongst DJs because a good DJ could play the same record in a different way and in still kill yeah, the crowd and still win. Right? Yeah, you know, and yeah, that's a de- debatable thing. Yeah. But in that being a thing, I always took pride in being the DJ that played a B side on the album. Right. Mm. Yeah, like like you Camilo. Know, Camilo's one of my favorite DJs. I even mm. I, mean, I, I even wait. He, he yeah. busy. I even wait until the the hit record is not a hit anymore. Right, and uh. then play it later. Uh. you know what I'm saying? I, you know, like a memory thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like telling I like telling a story through the, through the way the records that I'm playing. Right, yeah. like I'm telling you a story through that. That's what the way I like to play the records. So mm-hmm. you gonna play again? Uh-huh. Jeez, I, I want to come out. The thing, look, I have so much respect for DJing. DJing didn't come naturally to me. Yeah, I didn't have any mentors. I was watching videos. I like I was getting whatever, however I could absorb the skill, mm-hmm. and I was just. But I would practice for hours upon hours before I had a, a club night or a set anywhere. And then once we started doing different things and doing like those practice hours weren't coming in anymore, and then the technology changed, and I'm like. Out of respect to this art form, unless I'm gonna put in those hours, I'm not going back on the sets. Mm. That's how I am with um, uh, MCing right now. If I'm not gonna go all the way in, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it no more. So, so sorry to everybody. Be trying MCing to ask comes people. so natural to you, dog. Sorry to everybody. Keep asking me for verses. <laughs> sorry, I'm. I like this shit yeah, better. Yeah. I like this. I, I, hey, this is some respect. <clears throat> yeah, I get, it. I get it. But I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. My homie yeah. in my I'm neighborhood is DJ too. Craze, one of the illest DJs in the world. Like, mm, I'm incredible. Crazy. I'm like, look at this. I can't do this no more. You know what I'm saying? This guy's doing magic tricks. He's an alien. That inspired me. Yeah. Yeah. Like Rob Swift. You, you oh, man, earlier. execution is that's, yeah. uh, those, those is out of control. Mr. Those Sinister, DJ Cuber, the beat yeah. junkies, like uh, Boogie Blind, yeah. you know, the yeah. list goes down, man. Yeah. You know, them, all of them dudes, man. You know, they don't even get the the respect they deserve. It's something that I'm, I'm gonna take a shot. I know you don't have I'm, to. I'm, I'm gonna take a shot I'm too. You, this I'm is to I'm De La Soul. To De- and you know what? Please, Rest in peace, Dave, man. You Bird. know what? All day. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be a heavy heart. I'm almost. I'm hearing you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's bittersweet. Yeah, because yeah, you know why? It is. it is. Like, y'all my big brothers in a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. Y'all was on Tommy Boy before me. I came I, I, I felt like in a lot of ways, I followed y'all footsteps mm-hmm. without following y'all footsteps, but yeah. following y'all footsteps. And I, I can remember when I found out that you guys was fighting for your rights. Mm-hmm. I remember that moment. I remember me sitting back and saying, their story is more important than mine. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is, I knew y'all getting your rights back first was more important. Mm-hmm. And it still it still was to me because y'all my OGs. Mm-hmm. Y'all people who I salute. Y'all people who I take my hat off to. Yeah. So y'all getting y'all, yeah, I'm, I'm getting it, yeah, yeah. So y'all getting y'all flowers meant more to me. Mm. And that's when I knew I was a good person. <laughs> <I'm saying>. <laughs> <laughs> it's about them. It's about not me. You, you, I get it afterwards. Mm. But they get their rights back. They get, and hip hop stood with y'all. Mm. And I'm telling you, that's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> I really, really respect y'all. I really honor y'all. And I'm thankful. Thank I'm you, thankful that y'all here, man. No, I'm really for real. Here. Thank I'm you, really bro. Love you, bro. Hey. Honestly. Y'all yeah, love you. Yeah. And I love you. Word. Yeah, bro. That's real, man. And just a testament to, like, people laugh sometimes when I bring artifacts, but I bought this as a kid. Mm. Yeah. It was a single, and because I wanted to preserve the singles, I would cut, cut the joint out and put it in a hard plastic joint, so mm. it was good. And think about it, a kid buying this and the legacy that still today what you guys are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To be able to bring this now to this show today mm. is, is incredible, man. And the legacy you guys have has impacted all of us, the entire culture, every single person here. It, it goes without words, man. Thank DJ you, my EFN got a tennis ball from 1994. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually before that for Carrot Swan. 1989. It was 92, 92, 92, 92, 92. 92. 92. Yeah. He's an artifact guy, man. Wow. And I'm going to be honest, that shit is so dope, bro. Thank That's you. Yeah, I need y'all to sign. You gonna get them to sign? Question. That's what I, yeah, I'm about to say. Question. I'm about to say. I'm taking a shot for that too. Don't, don't worry. No more. No, no, no I, more. Yeah, no yeah, more. I'm chill. I'm chill. No, <laughs> no, yeah, no, no more shots. I'm, this is it for the god. Yeah, you lying. <laughs> <laughs> now let me ask you, what the hell is potholes in my lawn? Sucker <laughs> MC biting my rhyme. 
That's it. That's oh, that's what that, Okay. Because you know why? When I, when I first heard potholes in my lawn, by the way, I was poor. <laughs> you, so I didn't have a lawn. So I didn't know what a lawn it was. So you're like, somebody's lawn got <laughs> Somebody's lawn. So I always wanted to ask you how that. Yeah. So like MC bite my rhyme. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The lawn is our rhymes, and the potholes are the chunks that our sucker MC would have wow. bit off of the tape. <laughs> so, yeah. Y'all, y'all went deep. <laughs> y'all, y'all went bad deep. <laughs> oh, this shit. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm like in the studio, yeah. though? Yeah. When I hear the rhymes. Mm. But the beauty was I got it. That mm. was like my main connection, fucking with them. Right. When I'm hearing the rhymes, I'm like, oh, shit, I know what the fuck he means. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah, you, you want to say something else? No, no, no. So, um, you know, speaking about, um, you know, rest in peace to Dave. Um, I remember me being with Pun, right? And I remember me going to actual Pun's funeral. And I stood on the side of his casket, well, in front of his casket, and everybody kind of, like, you know, grabbed me and said, he's not suffering no more. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't, I couldn't grasp it. Grasp it because I'd never seen Pun suffer. Mm. But then I started to think about it. I used to remember at times where Pun would fall asleep, sleep apnea. Yeah. I didn't know I was too young at the time. Yeah. So I, w- I would look at Pun <clears throat> and I would step my, my my story up. I thought I was being boring. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought I was being boring. So is that something that you guys knew about Dave or? No, we <clears throat> we knew. I mean, and Dave had congested, con- how do you say, con- congested, congested heart, heart failure. failure. Um, We've been knowing about it since Grind Date. Grind Date. The Grind Date album. Mm-hmm. Wow. There were certain things he could have done or was told to do, and at one point he could be doing it. You know, and you just get comfortable. Complacent. Yeah, and okay, I'm, I'm doing what the doc told me to do. I'm on point, and then sometimes you just want to fall off your regiment of health, your healthy regimen. And, and that was a bout, battle that he, he had. Um, Mace can uh, confirm what I'm saying as far as, like I said to Mace, like me and Dave was together on the Gorillas tour last year. And I was just saying like, yo man, Dave is having a problem with just this one song. Like, you know, like we get through it, we, we rock it. But when he gets off stage, it was just like a lot, like as if we had performed for almost an hour. So I was like, "Yo, man, I don't, I don't think we're gonna tour no more. I, I just really don't think that's gonna be possible." Um, but I'm being honest, death, nah. I just thought like it would be like, "Yo, Dave would show up on the TV shit." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He could sit here and do this. Maybe we narrow it down to like doing three or four, four songs. songs right. You know. We was just thinking that early about, you know, uh-huh. adjusting things. You know, like when the Grammy thing came up, all right, this is a good opportunity. Let's do this. Dave was all in. But then he just, I guess, he just felt like, well, no, nah, I really can't fly. And then it just didn't happen. So we was all on the phone after that Grammy joint, and we was just all really talking. And, yo, we was like, yo, man. It was bittersweet. I was like, yo, thank y'all for like giving me the props of what I did, but I just miss my niggas being there with me. Right. And I was just like, yo, man. And we just all started laughing because I was like, yo, this nigga Melly Mel, this nigga got like 700 <laughs> muscles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He looks amazing. He want to fight somebody. Yo, and I was just like, and then Dave was like, we was all laughing together. We just all laughing. It was like, yeah, man, we got to get our health right, man. Like, you know, so... It was it was something, man. It was like we all talked three days before we lost this brother. Like, Damn. you know, we got to get this right. You know what I'm saying? So, I I didn't see this shit coming. I'm being honest. I I, I didn't see it. No, yeah, man. So you know. God bless. Let's, let's take let's take a moment of silence. Can you yeah. everybody back there? Let's take a moment of silence. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Really apologize, fellas. Nah, man. You know, you know so yeah. yeah, yeah you know. I mean, so and we all lost. Just, yeah, yeah dog. This is all lost too. You yeah, know what it's mean? All like, good. It's and so the tears, the so tears good. are warranted. You know, yeah. like he was a good man, dog. 
So, but, but did, he get, did, did he get to, to, to know that y'all got the rights back? No, he knew all that. Okay, okay. It was just that we were all... And the we, shit we was talking about 48 hours before he passed. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. We was ready. No. Because mm-hmm. we already knew, like, and I... We was ready. I know for him... He was ready to go. Yeah, I know for it him, though, time. it was about... It was go time. Yeah. Like I said, all this shit was set up. That Webster Hall shit was set up. We had the Spotify shit set up. We was, yo, we was on it, dog. We was on it. But I think Dave knew his limitations, and he was just trying to be there for us. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't want to let us down. You know what I'm saying? So I try to talk him out of going to the Grammys because mm-hmm. he was still trying to go. Me and him both been struggling with some health issues, you know, but mm-hmm. his was way more severe than me. And I'm like, Smiles would call me up. Our tour manager, he called me up and be like, yo, man, I don't think this dude should do this, man, you know? Figure out how to let Merce just do this by himself. So we mm-hmm. got on the phone with a call and I'm like, yo, man, this is how I feel. I'm thankful for the opportunity, but maybe we should just let Merce rock. And he was still adamant about trying to go and then even down to trying to make it to the Grammys. He couldn't make it. Mm-hmm. The day of his flight, he couldn't make it. Yeah. Jay was prideful. But after the Grammys, yeah, we were on the phone, you know, proud of him for holding it down. Like, he rapped. Mm-hmm. My man killed it. Mm-hmm. Held it down. Mm-hmm. Hit, you know, and we on the phone, like, just ready, like, talking that good shit. Mm-hmm. Behind even business things, structure things that we knew we still needed to complete, that we completed. Mm-hmm. It was like, it was go time, Nori. It was go time. Yeah. Man, it fucked was, up with it. Yeah. It was a loss to all the hip hop, you know what I mean? But I imagine this is me, just me just seeing you brothers yeah. uh, talk about it. And, and by the way, thank you. Thank y'all for being, you know, open. Yeah, open because, um, like I said, with Pun, I felt like Pun was my best friend. Mm. Right, but I felt like I was naive upon me. The night of Pun's funeral, his son was born. What? We had a show at the Roxy. The Roxy in L.A. or the Roxy in, in New York? New York. Okay. Mm. And and the night of his funeral, Pun's funeral, his son was being born. Wow. Everybody who was pretty much at the funeral came to the Roxy, wow. held us down till he got to the show. Wow. Yeah. Life, life. Everybody. Wow. <laughs> life cycle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Life, life, life. Yo, it's crazy because... Um, you look a little crazy. You look a little crazy. Yeah, yeah. Look, you like, look, look, you look like you was doing song. cocaine, man. Okay. <laughs> you and Robin Dick and singing that song together? Stop. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I don't Yo. know what that shit was, but that shit look right. Like. <laughs> you look like you had a drip, bro. No. Yo. Nah, man, but thank you. Yo, so... Where's your favorite place to perform? Mm. Don't tell me Dusseldorf, Germany. <laughs> That's your favorite place my in favorite. the world. <laughs> it's my favorite place. I love it. Always I, brings up Dusseldorf. I love Dusseldorf. Mm. Oh, they own money? Oh, they, yeah, yeah, for yeah, tourism. Nah. <clears throat> it's hard to say, man. It's a lot. Because we, we, from the jump, we was always out there. We loved the tour. Like us and Tri would be together and. Tipping them would be like, you know, if two weeks in, they'd be like, yo, we want to go home. We always just want to just keep going. So it's a bunch, man. It's yeah, U- really UK, say. like the UK is like home. London is home. I can't remember. But Brixton? London, it's home. Big um, old. I don't know why. No question. I did that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Japan is dope. Um, Okinawa? Okinawa is banging. That's well, not mainland Japan, but. But yeah, Okinawa is dope. Um, what did you say to me? It's not me. It's not me. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I, I, for me, it, 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 it became more who we touring with. Mm, you know? Because mm-hmm. there have been so many great places. Mm. But to repeat them with different programs, you know? Yeah. Like, mm. Rocking with, you know, especially with people you love and respect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. I love and it. And I'll never forget rocking with Nile Rogers and Sister Sledge one time. Oh, <laughs> mm. No, not Sister Sledge. Point of sisters. sisters. <laughs> um, I think it's- yo, we that's what I'm saying. Our music, <laughs> dog, our music has allowed us to rock, as you said, an all rap program. It could be us and Lenny Kravitz. It could be us and 
Tito Puente. We did a show, us, Tito Puente, and Regina Bell. Like, wow. We've done it. Like, our music just has just allowed us to go any and everywhere, though. That's, that's, you know that's what I'm a saying? different lineup right there. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, whether it's like he just said, like, we could be over here doing something with someone over here. We can come back on this side, and we 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 with Bad Bunny. We, like, we we able to run any which way. You point, we can do I it. Hit, dude. You know what I'm saying? Shows a bad bunny. I'm just saying. I think it's like, VIP, yeah. VIP. <laughs> And they go, Z cheese. I love that shit. Yo, Yo Bad Bunny <laughs> killed Coachella. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah and who he brung out? He brung out. I forgot who he brung out. He, he brung out a Post on Malone. Second, Malone. Post but Malone. on the second weekend, I know he brought, uh, oh, come on. Why? Post why? Malone. No, no. no? Uh, mm. Luis Feliciano? Feliciano. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Brought him. He knowing your shit. Nigga. Because he toured with all of them. <laughs> we used to playing on stage for two hours, yeah. bus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. You know? Yeah. But actually, yeah. Used, used to that. You, know <laughs> you said, no, nah. listen, no. I remember the first time I went to Europe, I did 45 minutes. They was like, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. And want two hours. And them niggas want an encore. Yes, and, yeah. they want, yeah. and they want an encore. And you better not do it on a track. Nah. No, 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 no. no. A backtrack I'm with your vocal. Man. Nah. I'm friends with DJ EFN. He won't even Hell. DJ nah, if it's not vinyl out. So, <laughs> not so I went out my vinyl to, to the Canadians well, that, where we did. <laughs> Took, I'm not sure about that, sir. Yeah, you, you, you DJ yeah, the I, yeah, the Native oh. Instruments joints. I took <laughs> okay, my bad, my bad. I apologize. I apologize. With us traveling around the world, that really helped us because um, the states, man, this hip hop thing was ours. So like, you could do a show in L.A., people would show up at the House of Blues, but it was just kind of. Normal, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yes. you could be rocking. You see a bunch of niggas talking, and if you could turn me like, "Yo, stop talking, nigga," I'm, yeah. I'm rocking. Mm -hmm. right. Where y you going overseas? It was like, "Yo, you don't live here. Mm -hmm. This is special to us." Yes. So, like, they wanted you to give them everything. Mm -hmm. You couldn't shortchange them, yeah. right? You know, so that's that was. I'm being honest. That was our school. Like, so when we came back to the states, we provided that. Where we made sure, like, yo, like, we do that to this day. I did that at Coachella. Some some girl didn't put her hand up or she wasn't, like, doing the the the, the pledge I told her to do. Like, I made everyone point at her ass. Like, yo, like, <laughs> partake in this. Like, yeah, yes. Get up with more. Give up your yo, space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We want to make this an experience. So that was, that was the, those are def definitely lessons we've learned. You know what I'm saying? I remember I was in Warsaw, Poland one night, right? And I, 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 I show up there. And they saying CNN, CNN. So I'm saying to the promoter, I said, "How long have they been saying this?" <laughs> they said since seven o'clock. So I was like, "They thought they think I'm late." They're like, "No." Mm. But then I look, and then they're like, "Everyone shaved their head to look like you, Nori." Oh, and I was like, "That wasn't a good idea." <laughs> <laughs> it was just so good. Yeah. <laughs> a whole bunch of white people, yeah. like skinheads. <laughs> I said, oh. I'm scared to death of them now. <laughs> what the fuck is y'all talking about? Can you tell them to put their hair back on? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I lost the focus. I'm, no, sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because you, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're a bunch of kids from Queens, mm -hmm. Queens, Long Island, mm -hmm. Bronx, Brooklyn, and we actually got to perform all over the world. Yeah. Bro. Like, that shit is crazy. Like, when, I, when you think about it, yeah. like the countries that you mm -hmm. where I guys been, like I was sitting here with Chuck D, and Chuck D said he'd been to a hundred countries. Oh man, Chuck I didn't D. even know a hundred countries existed. Mm -hmm. I was like, really? No, I think he said more than a hundred, to be honest. He said one hundred and thirty-four. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I gotta say we've done probably the same. Yeah, nigga, we've that's why I'm bringing it up. Because we've that's been. Why I'm bringing it up. Yeah, no. That's yeah, why I'm bringing it up. Yeah, no. We've pretty much been where everywhere Public Enemy has mm. been. Yeah, I've been to Kazakhstan. Every yeah. I ain't we've been, been to yeah. We've been we've been where uh, Cypress Hill has been. Yeah, Ice T has been. Mm -hmm. We've been repeated offenders at a whole Ugh. bunch of places. Right. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. How is that like rocking the world? Because that's probably the only thing I miss about hip hop mm -hmm. is rocking the world. world. Yeah. Like when okay. I'm on that world, that's a moment, blessing, man. Like, mm -hmm. like that's the only thing I miss. But mm -hmm. other than that, I like, I love my space. But how is it? David D in the motherfucker building. Yeah. And you got the mixed colors on. God damn it. Yeah, you Miami motherfucker. Now we in Miami. We in Miami. Yeah. Miami. Yeah. Miami. Yeah. Miami. Yeah. Yeah. Miami. Yeah. 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 Come on, put him on the chair. Put that 
Lake County. Yeah. Pull up a chair. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, pull up. That, you got the right colors on, that. Nope. You got the right colors on, <laughs> goddamn. I don't know, dog. Yeah. I don't know. You might be starting some trouble out <laughs> yeah, here with that. Yeah, listen, Lake County, baby. <laughs> yo, huh? Oh, yo, listen. That's, that's the best rivalry. Mm -hmm. Miami Heat against the Knicks. But Reggie Miller, I hated him. I can't. <laughs> and Jordan. Jordan crushed him. Every year we would go, we get right next to there. Right. And Jordan, he stuck his tongue out. Dunk on us. Don't like it. <laughs> I never got over it. <laughs> be, to be a Knicks fan, you know how hard it is to be a, mm -hmm. and a Jets fan. I'm a Knicks. Whoa. Oh. I see you got the Mets hat on. I'm a battered wife when it comes to the Knicks. I'm a battered. I'm a battered. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, being a Knicks fan is horrible, yeah. bro. I just got to act like I ain't see the game. <laughs> They'd be, like, they'd be like, did you see the game? I'm like, nah, I ain't see that shit. <laughs> I don't want to. But are you a Knicks fan? I don't I don't really watch basketball. You don't fuck with sports. I can I'm tell. I like that. No. I can tell you fuck with sports. Basketball. Basketball. And boxing. Mm -hmm. And boxing. Yeah, yeah. You seen the um, tank fight? No, I missed that fight. You missed the tank fight? We was doing Coachella. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> Uh, See, that was the that was the greatest loss ever. Yeah, we missed the fight. We was doing coach. <laughs> 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 Only fifty thousand. Only fifty thousand people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, what is that? We we keep rolling up, motherfucker. <laughs> so for people that don't know, uh, uh. you guys have pluck one, pluck two, pluck three. For people that don't know. Describe what that what that means for, for. It was just a chant. It was just um. It was almost like a count, like you know when people bought the rhyme, be like yo, yo, yeah, yeah. yo, and then they saw rhyme. Like yo, what, what, what? Well, yeah, yeah. I was about to say that. So yeah. it was the same shit. It was like plug <laughs> one. To count in. It was just a plug two. That that's all it was. Mm. And it was just for that. Plug tuning was just uh, a routine. All right. It wasn't really about it being a song. It was a routine. He would cut impeach the president. And we mm. would do that. We would do plug tuning. Did you? Do you guys ever? And I'm gonna talk to you because you're here. As an MC, do you ever put yourself in that top tier category of lyricists that a lot of people put you in, including myself? I'm the only nigga that ain't wearing my wedding band today. Come on, bro. We, how you changing the no, subject? No, From lyricism to wedding, wedding band. band. I'm like, I'm like, damn. My wife might be mad at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, because I looked at your shit. I'm like, damn, even EFN's wearing his shit. I'm like, damn. Yo, he's the worst. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm do, sorry. Do, you, do you ever I, do you consider yourself a top tier <laughs> lyricist in that, like a like up there with the greats? I mean, me personally, I've never I've never done that. I just always said to myself, I am nowhere near. I'm got I'm galaxies away from the wackest nigga. Absolutely. I'm just, but I've never But you my, are at the top tier. I mean, I appreciate when people <laughs> say that. I've just always been the person where I allow myself to get scared. Like when I gotta be on a record with Black Thought, I'm like, oh no, nah, this nigga's not gonna dust me. Like I, that's how I look at it. Right, right, right. And that's how you maintain, that's how you're sharpening. You know, I, if I gotta be on something with most, I'm like, ah oh, shit, I gotta, I start. And my own nigga, Dave, he was like that. He would, yo, I'm the person where if we had a studio session, uh. so I know if we gonna go in the studio Wednesday and do something, so Sunday I'm already writing. Wednesday, I come with it. <laughs> Dave would just be sitting there listening to what I'm doing. He pulls out a pad. <laughs> he shits his shit out right there. <laughs> that's how ill that's, Dave was. That's, that's, how ill he was. <laughs> that's how ill he was. So whatever I was trying to be or I had became, it's because of I was not trying to be left in the dust right. behind him. Mm. You know. So nah, I don't. I don't think of myself like that at all. I just I really respect. You know, and I'm humbled by whatever anyone feel, right. how my skills are, but I'm always up for improvement. I listen to the young dudes, I hear shit, and I'll be like, yo, that's dope, and it just inspires me, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was in L.A. not too long ago, Status Selector was doing like a release party for a Kodu, and I was listening to his shit. It was dope. And I was like, yo, man. This is dope. Like it is. It. I'm just always a student of shit. Right. You know. Always. Well. Well. We know you humble, but we gon' we gonna brag for you. Okay. Y'all one of the best groups of all motherfucking Thank time. You, yep. Absolutely. Hands down. Thank you, With no equivocations. I don't even use big words. Yeah. With no equivocations, y'all are the, 
one of hey. the best groups of all time. Oh, thank you. Y'all bro. make global music. You have sustained. You guys, the 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 fans, the people. You guys are the people's champions. And then just in case you want to be humble, we're going to tell you that. Oh, to your goddamn you. face. Goddamn I appreciate face. it. Come on, Lord. I Yo, I ain't going to lie. Diamond D came in here nah, full-fledged <laughs> Nick Achaya. Yo, I'm, I'm so... I, listen, I'm, I'm running to go to the store. Give me the Foot Locker. I'm trying to put on what Diamond D got on. Damn, holy shit. You, you, you want to bring Diamond D in? Yes, I, I, I told him to get a chair. Let's get let's get Diamond D a chair. Yeah, so yeah, let's yeah, let's yeah. cut and let's bring him in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. I need a water. Four. Oh, hell yeah. Maybe y'all know Drink Chance wants to give flowers while people are here to receive them. Giving flowers and celebrating our legends while they can still smell them. We have partnered with What the Flower to create this movement where everyone can give flowers to the legends in their lives. You can now order a custom flower box for the someone you want to show appreciation to by visiting www.wtflower.com and place your orders now. That's love for the baby right there, man. I appreciate it. You know, this means more than any award that you can get on some real shit because it means that you're appreciated by your peers, you're appreciated by the people that you do it for. And I accept my flowers with love. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let's make some motherfucking noise for Diamond motherfucking D. Yo, listen, Diamond D, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> yeah. When I, I looked at you to the right and uh, I seen it and I said, that's exactly how I feel. That's right. Like, cause, cause, cause <laughs> New York and we're in Miami. I'm gonna show you. You're in Dade County. You're in Miami. We're in Dade County. <laughs> when we would to be exact. Yes, when would to be exact. You used to be little Puerto Rico. Yep. <laughs> it did. You see the tank fight? Yeah, no question. Oh. He put it on him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yo, I knew knocked it. him out with a with a jab to the to the ribs. I knew. Yeah. I knew. I listen. God, God bless me, Ryan Garcia. Yeah. Um, I did like you, but I just didn't know. I know he wasn't. Tank is a yeah. dog, yeah, man. Too like, much. That's, too that's, much. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Mm. So, Diamond D, tell us what's going on. Yo, um, you know the album's out. The rear view. The rear view. You know what I mean? And um. I'm here today to um, shoot one of the videos off the album. Mm-hmm. I got with my man Paz right here. Hey, that's right. Mine high. That's right. And I'm um, just here to show support. You know, there you go. To the family. That's right. Because you know, I'm, you know I'm, they... I'm, I'm, Hold on. I'm, I'm a huge Daylight fan too. Mm. God damn it. We all. We all. We all. We all. <laughs> Thank you, dog. So, um. You said you, you're filming a video today. Correct. This is yours. Right. For, yeah, so yeah. tell us, tell us, tell us what this record is about. Um, the song "Flying High" is just basically about you know just 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 moving forward and um, just staying above the bullshit. Right. Mm-hmm. That's how I would call it. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, nah, for real. Right, you know what right. I mean? And um, you know your man right here, Pa, he don't do too many features. So right. when he blessed me with the verse, you know what I mean? I really appreciated that. You know right. what I mean? He don't do don't do too many. Right, you right. know appearances. Right. Um, and so, so, so earlier you, today, today you said that did, you, did I see the picture with Fat Joe? Right. right? With a, with a, with a uh, he's thirteen years old with a Knicks jersey on. Yeah, yeah. You remember the starter jacket in '84? You said you took that picture. Yeah, my my, my man Troy took it, but we were together. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you see you see Joe you see Joe playing basketball. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I don't think Joe can play basketball. I'm just being honest. Yeah. That's my oh, friend. Nah, yeah, he had, he, he, had, he, he had a little game. He had a That's little game. That's my friend, but I, I, Joe this is not something that I think of when of I think course. I don't think of basketball right, when I think right. of bad Joe. You don't think of Joe pop locking me, Oh, that's I was right. there. I seen, right. him, I seen him do that I seen him kid. do it. I seen him with the white gloves and everything. Oh, nigga. You got loose? You got loose? Come on, come on. Did you say white gloves? No, you didn't say white gloves. Joe had on white gloves? The white gloves? You said you That's hip hop. Yo, so, yeah. so Diamond, let me ask you because yeah. their story is so famous. Their story is so famous of, you know, them them not, you know, uh, um, having the rights to their music, and right. then they finally got the rights to their music. What, did, what where was you at when you when you found out that they got the they got their shit back? Uh, oh, Dela. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Oh, well, I know they was you know they they was going through it with Tommy Boy, you know, for a while. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So you know, it's artists from that era. 
you know, they they know that, yo, you know, it's, you know, I think after 35 years, the rights reverse back to you. I think it's 30, but it might yeah, be 35. Either or. Uh-huh. But I mean, only your masters is everything. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? That's, that's your blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you should control that. Mm-hmm. Right, you know, I'm trying to get stunts, blunts, and hip hop back mm. as we speak. Right, class, you know right, I mean? right. So, you know, this has been thirty years. Pi- bigger pitch is ownership. Yeah, yeah. It has it been thirty years? <clears throat> yep, it has been thirty years. Yeah. So they have to mm-hmm. give it back to you, right? Yeah, yep. Ninety two. Oh, wow. best kept secret. Sally got a one track mind. Mm. Woo. Crazy. Woo. What a crazy record. Trying to get my masters back as well. Mm. God damn it, man. Jesus, yeah. I, I I would never think that we would have to have this conversation. Like yeah. that. Right. Because I believe that hip hop is one of the worst loans you could ever have. Mm. Like, they give you this money. Yeah. Which is what it is. It's a bank loan. For- yeah. It's a bank loan. Bank loan. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's high the, interest bank loan. <laughs> it's the worst bank loan ever. Mm-hmm. So, have you guys had a chance to speak to Tom Silverman direct or no? This it had nothing to do with him once he sold his. Um, I spoke to him the actual day we started the boycott. Mm hmm. Wow. That's when I spoke to him. It was that morning before we went up to Sway. Mm. Mm. That's when I spoke to him. And what was this conversation like? <laughs> I really don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Fear not for me. For real. Yeah. I really don't. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I'd rather talk to you about it off camera. Okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah. No <clears> problem. <throat> I mean, um, for me, mm-hmm. um, I forgive him now. Yeah, moving forward because for, forgiveness is about forgiving yourself first. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. But he has he didn't he didn't want to negotiate with me when I was like you know he we had reached out to each other. I don't remember if it was him or it was me or whatever, but we spoke, and I was trying to buy the rights back from him direct. Yeah, direct. And it wasn't amicable. It wasn't. Mm-hmm. It wasn't nothing. Yeah, this wasn't either. Yeah. I mean, it had to fall in the hands of someone else for it to be right. Right. You know, so that's why I bigged him up. Mm. Then having to really talk about him, you yeah. know, because mm. you're right. He's not really a good person, but I always knew that. Right. You know what I I'm saying? I always know that. You know, I knew that from the type of business he does, you know. Right. I mean, he is who he is. Once I understood that many, many years ago, all I did was do what he did, what he been doing to right. him. Yeah. Right. That's all I did, and all I did was say what he said. I never said anything bad about him. Mm-hmm. Just said what he said, right. mm-hmm. and let everybody else decide if it was right or wrong. Because mm-hmm. I already know it's wrong as shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. And at the end of the day, like he always presented it, it's business, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we we wanted to take care of his business, man. That was it, it. it don't got really even there get personal. I, we don't even gotta really talk on him, you know. Mm-hmm. We're just blessed to be here doing what we're doing with people who want to do business. Um, and I mean, come on, man, let's be honest. Business don't necessarily always gotta be fair business. You just yeah. gotta once you show you no know, knowledge of something, maybe people will deal with you a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, Hold on, what you just said? You just said business don't always have to. Be business fair. don't have to be fair. Don't have business to be is fair. business. Yeah. At the end but of don't the day. portray to be my friend. Yeah. Right. Yes. That's the thing. You know, that was that was the thing that <clears throat> with me and you, when we went to CBS, mm-hmm. and when we went to CBS, I'm just leaving Tommy Boy. I'm just leaving all this shit. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to be friends with nobody at CBS. Mm-hmm. Not because I didn't want to be friends with them, but because this this is a lot of investment. Mm-hmm. When you when you when you sign to a label or you start doing business with people, mm-hmm. you start to like them. And then you don't know that they'll be traded the next day. Yeah, they'll be in Nebraska the next day, yeah. and then you, I have to sit there. Yeah, you don't want to be friends with anybody. So I don't want to be friends in the, in the with building. them no more. Like yeah. so, like it's like because I started to understand business when yeah. I was young. I understood friendship. Yeah, I didn't understand business. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be friends with everybody. Mm-hmm. But when I got older, I was like, "Fuck being friends. Mm-hmm. Let me get my check, and that's it." Yeah, it doesn't mean that I'm not. Friendly doesn't yeah, right. mean, but what it is is I'm more of a businessman. No, mm-hmm. I could still be your friend. Yeah. Now I'm gonna find out if you're gonna be my friend. Mm-hmm. That's where it's at. Because mm-hmm. now it's just for me to own up to. Let me stop harboring these feelings that might I think is gonna affect the friendship. Right. Things that I think I shouldn't say right. that I feel is right for me. Right. The minute I feel like I say what's right for me, the person who feel like I'm saying some foul shit. Mm-hmm. Not my friend. Yep. 
It's real. And, and we got to remember the history of this industry, mm-hmm. the music industry. It's always been a racket. Yeah. <laughs> yep. A racket. <laughs> if, if, well, like, if, the, like the club? Mm-hmm. No, not like the club, but like the club. Uh-huh. Yeah. Actually, like the club. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the foundation of the music industry. And yeah. I'll tell people, go do your history and understand it. And yeah. when you understand where it comes from, yeah. Yeah. the we evils we that come from that, evils. you know? Right. We understand. I mean, me and Drez, we've talked on this. and we Black we, Sheep? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we've said, like, yo, man, if... If if a if a if a label was just fair, fair, mm-hmm. fair, cats would be millionaires if they were just fair. fair right. Don't gotta overextend yourself. Just fair. Right. But business is not about being fair. Business is right. about being business. It's like a, a chess game. Almost like, what you negotiate is what yeah, you get. Yeah. You, you, what you get, you know what I'm saying? So it's chess and it's Othello. Mm-hmm. You know how we got to move amongst the game of deception. Yeah. So, you like know? you said, like we could be young. Mm-hmm. Yo, I know this dude. Yeah, he's gonna come in here. He's gonna want the girls. He's gonna want the the Tims and all that yeah. bullshit. And they just take everything from you. You right. know what I'm saying? Because they see that you want the glory of it all. You know right. what I'm saying? You want the bitches. You want the car. You want the and you get nothing. You want the and aesthetics. Then, yeah. And you won't read the fine print. <laughs> yeah. And then, and a lot of times, even where, even with us, when you were, look, let's make sure we have a lawyer. Yo, they had that covered. The lawyer was down with them niggas. Yo, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what's fucked up. That's Damn. the game. You know what I'm Yo, saying? Hold, hold, that's that's hold, always hold, been. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's always been. Can you say that again? The <laughs> lawyers are in cahoots with each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you say that one more time? Nigga. Say that one more time. The lawyer was in, in cahoots with the fucking label. So yeah. the lawyer's like, Yo, really this is, is a good is deal. Everybody's in cahoots yeah. of the close of the deal. Yeah. If you're not paying your lawyer straight out your pocket, win or lose, he's trying to get his bread yep. off the close right. of the deal. Yeah. And if everybody's moving on a percentage base, yeah, the more money that's on the table. So if I could convince you to give up your publishing for your ca- for more cash, nice. there's more money on top of my percentage as mm-hmm. opposed to what can protect Yo, my client. I don't client. know if y'all yeah. understand what you know he's what saying, saying, bro. Holy as shit. As opposed to what can really protect my client. Right. So my client can have longevity and I can have as a lawyer longevity with my damn client. But nobody ever really saw it like that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? First of all, when we came in, they didn't even expect this shit to even make it around the block. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, we was projected sales at somewhere like, what, 50,000 units 50, or some 000. shit like three that. Three feet high and rising. 50,000. Three, three feet high and rising. That's why yeah, niggas didn't clear the same. So, <laughs> you know, but what the beauty I could say in the entire relationship, we had no cre- creative hold. You know, right. mm-hmm. you know, most artists got, the label got in the way of the records they made. You know, Tommy Boy didn't get in the way of that. How they did get in the way, if they wasn't feeling something like naming your album De La Soul is Dead, they'll pull back on the budget of promoting. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, you know, we do what we did to supersede, to be us. You know yeah, what I'm man. saying? Like I said, man, and I'm, I'm sorry to cut you, but it's all right. it ain't about har- harboring nah, on not. that dude. I mean, like, it's not. Oh shit. But um <laughs> it's not. It's really not, man. It's just about we are where we it's are now. It's not even just him though, mm. Merce. It's no, no. A, a, a systematic thing. Yeah, it, no, it is systematic. We're not the same thing. We we are not a tire with a different rim. You know and even saying? some of these label execs, they they not they don't even know what it is. Because mm. it's it's something it that's was just following tradition. It's been ongoing yeah, yeah, forever. Ongoing. It seems like this is business as usual. Standard practice. Yeah. yeah. Right. I think it's right. following tradition. Yeah. And a lawyer might even tell his client, hey, this is what it is, but you're dealing with uh, oftentimes young artists. Mm-hmm. Like, I just want to get the deal. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but but if you look back, if you really look at it, you, you're, you're still exploiting I'm be, a young mind. You know it, what I'm saying? It, it's all circumstantial. It's where you are in your life. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you just work at McDonald's or hustling on the block, that deal, that's it's on save the your table. Life. It's, it's a life, life changer, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you just... Dog. If you... And just expect three. things to grow. That's right. All of us is dumb because we all kind of knew that the, the, it wasn't the right thing to do. But we're like, yo, we're going to fix it the next album. Right, yeah. right, right. You, and that's what you always think. You, you feel think, like yeah. you could renegotiate yeah. it in a sense. And which is, in my case, we had Capone and Noriega, then um, Capone went to jail. I was forced to do a solo album. I wasn't going to be a solo artist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I was forced to do it, and it, it worked out for me in the long run. But if mm-hmm. I had that, that not happen, I would have been signed as Capone and Noriega for life. Yeah. For life. I, signed, I did not read that shit at yeah. all. 
<laughs> Yo, no. Were, were you on penalty? Penalty, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. I, what, what was it like over there with Ian? Well, I, I was with Neil Levine. Oh, Neil. Yeah, yeah, yeah my, my Neil Levine. Um, Neil. Actually, I, I love Neil, to tell you no the doubt, truth. Yeah. Um, me and Neil always... Neil we're still cool. cool. Neil we're still cool, cool to this yeah. day. Mm-hmm. Um... He's, he's he's probably the cheapest person I ever met, <laughs> but he's also fought for me. Yeah, because no when I it was it was a time where you had to have a Hype Williams video or you not going platinum. Right, mm-hmm. and I needed a Hype Williams video, and we I would, remember we would, Tommy would never do a Hype Williams. Video. Yeah, I never. did. A, I got I got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got that budget to crack. I got that budget to crack. So um, and I went Damn. and I remember this. I remember this like it was yesterday. Hype Williams calls me and goes. Uh, book a room at the Trump. So I go, all right, this is the time where Trump was not racist. <laughs> we were like, book a <laughs> I threw that in there, I threw that in there. My bad. Y'all wasn't ready, y'all wasn't ready. Y'all wasn't ready. He just didn't know. <laughs> so, he wasn't a politician then. Yeah, he wasn't a politician. So, Hype Williams, just like the rich guy he was at the time, and he is still probably, he said, book a room at the Trump. So I didn't know what to do. I just booked the room at the Trump. He, he comes, shows up. He says, yo, I, 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 let's call Roy Jones. And I say, let's call Roy Jones. <laughs> He's like, yo, I think Roy Jones needs to be in your video. And he needs to be boxing in your video. So I was like, all right, cool. I've never called Roy Jones before in my life. So right. I'm calling Roy Jones. This is at the Trump Hotel. So Roy Jones goes, what? Y'all ain't got to fake my fight? Because he's like, yo, hype is like, yo, I want to fake a fight. Like, you know what I mean? He's like, mm. this is how, this how, this how hot Roy was at the time. Roy was like, you ain't got to fake a fight. I got to fight in two weeks. Y'all got to come and film it. He was like, but in my mind, I'm like, what if he lose? <laughs> like, I don't want footage of him losing. <laughs> like, I didn't know what this. And Roy was that confident. Oh, yeah, yeah, nah. And he said, no. He was the man. We, nah, he we was. We were doing, and. Yeah, he was the man. We went. Still is. And, um. Oh man, That's crazy. He, he he showed out that night. Right, we, we this first time HBO let cameras in mm. that wasn't HBO cameras, mm. and Roy fought for me. So Roy Jones, wherever you are, I owe you, brother. Yeah. I owe you. Man. I told NDO champ, you gotta relax. I told him he gotta relax. That's my friend, NDO champ. You gotta relax. You cannot hurt Roy Jones. You better not. You better not, NDO. I'm just playing. You better not, though. <laughs> but uh, big up Roy Jones, man. No I love hip hop, man. Yeah, man, hip hop. Hip hop has been good to us. We've obviously it's been great to me. Yeah, yes. man. Word like up. even in talking quite honestly, since we talking about it, even with Tommy Boy, man. Yo, Monica Lynch, man. She held us down over there. Like, yeah, she was a shining light over there. Yeah, and there's a lot of other great people over there that did did right by us you know what I'm saying right. so like honestly like even Tom was once the business was done he had some dope ideas yeah. you know what I'm saying right. like yeah. you know Tom Silverman we talked yeah. about like yeah. as of now like yeah. as, no like, not as of now oh, we yeah, haven't back dealt then. with back then. you're talking about you back, back then, then. Back okay. then. Yeah. yeah you know like there was a lot of great times you know we and just he, grew up, man, and we just grew up and was like, yo, man, this is what it is. This is unfair. Mind you, we had already been fighting to get what we need to get. He got hold of it. He got everything back. We obviously all know that it can be said that Tom got everything back to just flip it. Right. He yeah. got his- Because he sold it. Yeah. Yeah. He, no, he lost it. Please tell, tell us about this. Well, I'm just trying to say, like, yeah, he originally see, I'm, lost yeah, his- I was going to hold mm. that- so oh. please, no, let me. I need to know. Yeah, we, about come this on, loss. we need to completely understand <laughs> everything. Tom had lost the label. I didn't make it he like went I bankrupt. Been talking bad about I don't him. know about no bankruptcy. Okay. I'm just trying to say that he lost the catalog. Yeah, to he had Warner lost Brothers. the catalog to Based Warner on Brothers. What he owed because he had owed money to them, and he had to pay it back at a certain amount of time. It came out that he didn't pay it back in a certain amount of time, so Warner Brothers took the label. Wow. Mm. So that's why we and as Dayla... And Day-Law, in the middle of us having bionics out yeah. around the time and all of that. <laughs> you know, my, shit, my man, yeah. my only gripe with him, man, is that he wasn't the one to come sit us down to tell us this transition that was happening. Yeah, he uh, actually... You know? Like when it went to Warner, you mean? Yeah. Well, before it was about to go, I wait, mean, whatever... Wait, 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 say that again? I'm sorry. Before whatever went down, we actually re-signed. With, once we that's was doing crazy. these triple albums, we were finished. We actually was resigning with him. But unfortunately, finding out that when he lost the label, when we found out that, okay, so the label's gonna go to Warner, 
we're not going to be in a we a system. Mm-hmm. Any any label, yeah, whether it's Electra, 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 can grab Dayla or grab House of Pain or whatever, and that's what started happening. Sylvia Rome wanted us on Electra. We was going to Electra. She wanted Timbaland to do, to do the whole album. We was like, <laughs> we don't want that. Right, right. We don't mind a few tracks. We just don't want them to do the whole album. And then certain money we wanted, we was like, we sit down. So we, I knew Sylvia... Do my brother Renee McLean, Corey Smith, who's managers, knew her. She was like, look, man. Corey Smith, who manages Dave Chappelle? Yeah. yeah. So we was like, That's look. Quality. Yeah. We were just like, she was just like, look, I, I just want y'all to be happy with whatever go down. Y'all don't got to come here. So we didn't wind up going there. Then it looked like Atlantic wanted us to go over there. So we wound up just telling Warner, like, yo, we just want out. Right. They was cool. They let us go. We just want to just be able to go out and do our own thing. Right. So, I mean, you know, it's just being young and even being older. Sometimes you just don't know what's going on in the business side of things because it's not I for mean, you to even, know even when right. from their standpoint, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Their intention. And, and yeah. once you get hold of learning your contracts and you're into having a family and personal life, you, you still end up making some decisions that you feel you need to protect your foundation, you mm-hmm. know? Your legacy. It's a certain... Sacrifices you making because of this other two people in the group. You got to think mm-hmm. about let alone the family mm-hmm. you done just built. You know what I'm saying? And, and at the time, you know, for me, I felt like, yeah, we making certain compromises and sacrifices just to keep this thing we built going. Mm-hmm. You know, and being a part of this whole thing called hip hop that actually feeds our families, man. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Right. You know. So, but yeah, times changed. Things moved along. He lost the catalog. We figured out how to still keep going. Wow. Mm-hmm. And that's it still like in learning the business from the time where you feel like you stuck up until that moment. You learn a lot, man. You know, you can't fault mm-hmm. a person for learning so much to know where they can figure out now how to strategize where you got where they got their bargaining power. Mm-hmm. So let me ask you, because when he lost the catalog and got it back, it went to Warner. Did he get it back? He got it back. He got it back years later. Years, years later? later. Yeah. And yeah. what he paid for it? Or I, don't he, I don't know how, he got, how he, got he got it, got it back. He what he paid Because even when it. Warners had it, we were trying to get it back. Yeah, not that's even, when I was We weren't it. even trying to get it. We were just trying to get them to put it up. Yeah, uh, for so sale. when we were still lacking knowledge in business, just wanting the catalog up and maybe... Wow. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, when you say up for sale or up for sale, oh, up, yeah. up for sale yeah. on the because you remember like okay. like yo, we download had, era, all that was okay. You mean for streamings for streaming? Yeah. Right. We, we missed the download, so you could get the royalties off of yeah. that. Yeah. So even at that point, Rhino Warner was allowing Rhino to work out stuff. We did the live from Tramps album, whatever. But then when wait a minute. This infraction, as Mace would say, is coming in. You know, you owe, you owe, you didn't, you didn't clear potholes in my lawn. You didn't clear this sample. So that's when Warner shelved everything. So we was trying to work it out with them. At one point, Leo Cohen was over there. Leo was, mm-hmm. Leo, Leo was, was our there. ex manager. Yeah, you know, Leo we was managed to, by Rush Management, which was Russell Simmons and Leo. Process. He tried to work it out, but oh, then at one point, and then, and then Leo ended up leaving. He went up leaving, you and then too, new people too. come in. So it was all that type of stuff going on, man. It was just a long period of us trying to put it up. We had, I don't really want to say their names, but we had like a streaming company at one point was like, yo, we'll pay for everything. We'll fix everything. Allow us to fix everything. We'll pay for everything. We told Warner's like, yo, this streaming company will pay for everything, fix everything. They still wouldn't bite. (laughs) At that point, I felt like Somebody was waiting for him to get it together to get it back. Yeah, and oh, you know, like they were stalling later, for him. Was you know? for him. Uh-huh. He came, reached out to us. He had got it. He got everything back. But what I'm just trying to say in hindsight, he was getting everything back just to flip it. Right. Yeah, just to sell it. It wasn't like he was going to sell it. He didn't things. care about the yeah. music. Who knows? <clears throat> Who knows? Because I honestly, when he was trying to get us to do it. It seemed like he was looking to put it, put it all out. He At wanted to pull period. it all out, but so when he sent everybody these generic emails that kind of reverted back to contracts that were like eighty eight, eighty nine that we weren't even doing with him in two thousand. You know what I mean? Wow! It was yeah. When well, y'all seen it all, we posted it yeah, all. Man. Uh, you know, 
It was uh, interesting, yeah. but it was him. Like I said, man, you, honestly, though. Do, do you guys think it was all worth it? It was what? Was it all worth it? All yeah, of it. I, I, it definitely was worth it's it. It's worth I, it. I, I, he I, learned so I, much. I, yeah. I thank God for mm-hmm. real, dog. All right. You know, this is an extreme blessing. This yeah. is like, don't happen in a million years. I know what we went through even with each other. Yeah. To, where we almost mm. caved into that fucking shit, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, you know, it's truly a blessing from God, and I'm going to give it all the graces to God, for mm. real. Straight up. I think we can make some noise to God. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nah, man, I'm, I'm going to be honest, man. Like, um, it's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful, and it's not the ending. I don't want to nah. say this is the ending because... I feel like you guys got a whole nother legacy that can yeah, continue to go. Yeah, and, and, and the thing about it is, it's not like we playing football. Mm. It's not like we playing boxing. We can do this shit for the rest of our life. You can yeah. keep going. Yeah. So I would love to hear that new day live, bro. Nah, I dude. would really love. To hear that. How about being a part of it? I, I, come on, send me a joint. <laughs> send me a joint. I'll come out of retirement for y'all. I got you. I got you. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. Because y'all truly deserve it, man. Like, I can't see, you know, anybody that deserve it more than you guys. Mm. Man. Like, you know what I mean? You guys have been loyal to hip-hop. You gave us your whole life. Mm. Like, I don't remember not hearing a De La Soul mm. track. Like, yeah. I don't remember not yeah. hearing one. So... What y'all did, what y'all contributed, is warranted. It's, it's I wanted to know that it's noticed. Yeah, you guys are really one of the great, greatest groups of all time. Mm-hmm. And the fact that you got your rights back, really, really, is a beautiful story, man. Mm-hmm. It really, truly is because you guys deserve it, and it's a beacon to everybody. Yeah, you guys deserve that. Thank you, bro. Yeah, man. We appreciate it. I'm that. happy for y'all, man. Yeah, I'm happy man. for y'all. Happy for your family. I wish. You know, God bless um, Dave. Got to see, yeah. you know, more of it. Um, and, man. Yeah, man. Wanted to show y'all that love, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, Dave. Love it. All right. You got, you got more? I, 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 shit, I, I got a couple more notes. Let's but, go. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. shit. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Hold Let's on, go. shit. Brett Barris. Me what that, bro, man? You fucking around. Yo, but, um, hold on, hold on. How, how much of, for a new De La Project... How much of Dave's vocals would be involved in it? I mean, there's a bunch of stuff I've been trying to uh, get everything from his crib. There's stuff there, but it's not I ain't, a lot. But yeah, I'm not there. pushing anything. If it don't work, it don't work. I mean, sometimes we got to realize the reason why certain things were never put to light because they they weren't of the quality of what the person wanted. Right. I, I really do feel that people sometimes need to realize that. Um, there's a lot of great producers There's a lot of great MCs Who we've lost And a lot of times People just start Bastardizing their shit yeah. Just throwing it up Putting this out And sometimes Some of that shit Wasn't meant to come out right. For a reason So I mean It's the same with Dave's vocals There's a bunch of stuff That I know he would Just do when he When he felt the ghost And wrote And if it works It works If it don't It don't man You know what I'm saying We ain't gonna force anything You know what I'm saying Yeah I respect that does yeah. does um and you don't have to answer if you don't want to but moving on the De La as a group as a brand does his family are they a part of that yeah yeah definitely, definitely for sure definitely for sure okay. yeah for without sure. question okay. yeah because I know that gets complicated with people and it be, it creates all yeah, kinds nah. of weirdness I mean it's crazy because I can say it we literally had put together the contracts to make sure that was right four days before this niggas left. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Literally. And like like sometimes like I see like Havoc, right? Havoc will, will will go out and he'll call it Mob Deep, but he'll be it'll be DJ L- LES. Mm-hmm. It'll be uh Rappanoid. It, 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 do y'all still say De La Soul? It's De La, man. De La. And okay. At the end of the day, man, I I just know a lot of a lot of our brothers they miss him so like when when most comes up and like yo man I'm I'm down to rock we rock you know thought uh, hit me like black thought like yo man 
I'll, I'm standing like, like in your thought, service, whatever you need. Those days rhyme. You know what I'm saying? The, most got an alien brain. He knows everybody's rhyme. He, yeah. He know your rhymes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know. Quali always came out and represented always, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. So, so you that know, that aspect is there, but you know, I call it the super friends. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. when we get together, because everybody de- li- deliver their spirit, man, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they make it daylight for them. You yeah, know? and that's a testament to to the legacy. Mm-hmm. Now, Diamond mm-hmm. D, when are we getting D I T C on Drink Champs? Word. Come on, the whole D I T C. We need Buck Wild. Showbiz and AG, Buck, Buck Wild. 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 Buck Wild and AG. Buck Wild and AG. Buck Wild and AG. Buck Wild and AG. Buck Slim Joe now. That nigga skinny than everybody here. Yeah. <laughs> that, that would be him. Yeah, I want the whole D I T C. We need the big L stories. Yes. Oh, man. that that. Yeah, I saw him sitting at the White House. I said, yo, you need to be sitting at this table. You seen Kamala looking at him? I said, look at my boy. Boy, Fat Joe. Got the vice president looking at him. Like, yeah, I liked it, that shit. Yeah, Hell dope. yeah. I ain't never get invited Hip-hop. to the White House, ever. Hip hop. That was me. I don't think I'm ever going to get invited either. I don't. I think my invite is revoked. You never know. We might have we might do drink champs there one drink day. Drink champ, right? You never know. You never know. Weird things that happen in this yeah. world. Trump got elected. I've been very, because I, you know, I've been very critical on Kamala. I, I, and that Sleepy Joe. I don't really. You can just stay off of politics. <laughs> I don't really like Sleepy Joe like that. Leave Joe. Leave him alone, man. Leave Joe. Hey, man. Uh, it was just, off. just keep us out of World War Three, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss Cafe, but he better get some Kiss Cafe in his life. <laughs> He's a colada. <laughs> Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe. Against that. Yo. Sleepy Joe. <laughs> he fine for that. I ain't gonna lie. He's sleeping. You, you know, you know, this is how you know, this is how you know when a dude is kind of fucked up. When you start, you, you start... You started appreciating Trump. You're like, man, I kind of miss Trump. <laughs> <laughs> at least he came outside. Nah, that's what happened with Bush. We all started missing Bush at one time. Like, Bush yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're like, damn. But it's damn. something to say that we can't find no younger people in this that that want to be in the politics. But let's just be clear. Inject something new into the Trump political world. Didn't even take a mug shot. Who? He got arrested without a mugshot. Mugshot, word up. He told them, if y'all give me my mugshot, I'm, I'm making money off of it. <laughs> so they wouldn't take his shit. Nah, that's not what he said, bro. Yes! Yeah, yes! Yeah. He said that right there, yes! I, I can believe that. Yeah, that's he didn't have a mugshot. I don't, I gotta, 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 I it's sure. there somewhere. That, that I mean, nigga ain't get fingerprinted nothing. He, that's the gangster shit ever. He got fingerprinted. He got processed. He got processed. But he got processed. He had to get fingerprinted and he yeah, had to get a mugshot. I don't think he got fingerprinted. But I don't think he got fingerprinted. I don't think he got none of that. Mugshot. I think mugshot don't exist. That mugshot uh, don't, don't exist, bro. You would see it. Mike Tyson has a mugshot. Mm. Everybody has a mugshot. Jack- Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. But got they they might have given him Michael some presidential Jackson. like. <laughs> see, all right, we gonna put your shit yes, out because he yeah. threatened him. He said, "I'm going to make money over this. I'm gonna take this picture and I'm gonna bootleg it." He said he gonna go to Canal Street. He gonna go to Canal Street with the Africans. He gonna boot yeah, his own shit. He gonna put out a mixtape. Yeah, he gonna put out a mixtape. Yeah, I feel like he gonna put out a mixtape. Yeah. Yes, Trump mixtape. Machiavelli yeah. three. Oh. Yo. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He started making me like him. <laughs> man, you've been liking him, man. I did, kind of. <laughs> a little, a little. I didn't like the racist shit. I didn't like the there going go. at. I don't like I don't like anybody mm-hmm. racist like but uh, but there's certain shit that I do uh, a lot of my friends was rich when Trump was in office <laughs> oh man <laughs> I, I knew no bum niggas when Trump was in office <laughs> Biden there's a couple of bum niggas back outside <laughs> they outside man I'm sorry niggas look, looking at me like leave Sleepy Joe alone <laughs> Sleepy <laughs> Joe I'm sorry I'm sorry oh, I apologize shit. we don't do politics <laughs> but they ain't, they ain't inviting us to the White House anymore. oh nah y'all got invited oh. to the White House we, Obama. yeah, we did the Obama leaving party. That was amazing. I saw, yeah, that was dope. I that saw. was dope. That was hard. Yeah, that was that was hard. You got to meet Michelle. Yeah, yeah both of them. Yeah, both of them. Took yeah. a with him in the Flicks, a yeah. <laughs> they yeah. seemed like they mad cool. Yeah, yeah mad cool. Yeah. yeah, he dapped me up. Everything. He, yeah. Wait, he dapped all three of us. Yeah, <laughs> dapped y'all up. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a nigga dap. Like a yeah, nigga dap. A nigga. they suggested <laughs> the music. Yeah, real shit. So like. 
you know, we wound up doing business because Michelle Obama wanted to hear the business. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? So we doing the rhyme. Like, I almost messed up because I'm looking and she know the words. I was like, yo, wow. this is crazy. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Was dope. That's history right that there. That was dope. That is definitely history. It was really dope. Really dope. We ain't never getting invited to the White House. You never know, man. <laughs> you never know. Nah, I'm Trump. Trump. If you keep shouting him out, he might be like, "Yo, let's do drink chairs in the White House." I ain't gonna lie to you. Let me stop. Because <laughs> you never know, man. Let Let stop. Crazy stop. Coach, you might, <laughs> right, 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 might put him back in, in the White House. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, man, hit that hookah. Hit that hookah. Oh, shit. Hit that hookah. You hit that hookah. Diego? What is that, that shit? That shit is like That's marijuana. Ikea. That's marijuana hookah. Oh, man. Come on. And this whole time you've been sitting there, it's got a warm-up? What the fuck? Yeah. How, what kind that of warm-up have you been doing? Like a Ikea hookah or some shit. That shit, look, that shit look real modern. Oh, that shit is... Yes, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's marijuana. It's marijuana. Ooh. It's marijuana oh. hookah. That shit got AI. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> It's pretty good. Talk about AI. What do y'all think about the, I mean, the vocal shit? Did y'all hear Biggie's verse over Mob right, Deep? Right, Biggie, yeah, Mob Deep joint. Oh, but no, but now the new business model is licensing your voice so that they can use it because they're going to be using it in anyways. Really? The, I didn't, yeah, I didn't hear that. Yeah. People are making deals that every time it gets used, they get 50% of the record or, or some royalty rate off of their voice I don't know, that's dangerous. Sounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Super dangerous. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. what other choice? It starts to get weird now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I heard Biggie rapping Prodigy's verse. Yeah. yeah. I heard Biggie on it, doing Easy e records. Yeah. I saw uh, Michael Jackson doing... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the true... The, 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 the Snoop Dogg, uh, the nah, C-Murder joint. Yeah, the C-Murder right, joint. Right, right. He's doing the C-Murder This is for my niggas out there. Michael right. Jackson? Michael yeah. Jackson. Yeah. It's crazy. You want to hear it? You want to hear it? It's scary. Nigga. It's oh, my Michael Jackson doing, yeah. yeah. Yo, it's it's Michael Jackson Mur- doing Jackson? C-Murder vocals. I got to hit that. Oh, no, no, it's Michael Jackson. Nah. It's Michael <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That shit is so crazy. He's a he. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, shit. yeah. I heard it's the Biggie much. shit. I heard the whole shit. Yeah. So where yeah. does this take us? Where does this AI shit? I don't know. I don't know. Man. Creating man. art, like that literal shit just art. Got me the bad out. side. Every is, time I smoke one and think about it, it got me. They, they, they get fake like, confession. Oh yeah. yeah. Like yeah. there's a whole other side. That's oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Right yeah. Right they yeah. said they can make phone calls. Yeah. Line you right up. Yeah. They could call your kids and be like, "Daddy, open the door." Well, they you know, call you they, like for ransom. They rest just did that. They just showed yeah. how uh, they're doing something where um, older people, like their children, are calling them, like, "Yo, mom, blah blah blah, yeah, I got in trouble." Money. The new robocall. Send money, is that. but it's like, yeah, it's an AI faking shit. Yes. Yeah, it's, mm. So it's not being used for like anything of like use, man. Yo, by the way, I, I noticed y'all ate that whole cake. Y'all ain't offer us nothing oh, over here. That shit is yo, wow. fuck yo. Yo, that was the oh, ultimate. Yeah. Uh, that was the ultimate fat boy shit right there. Y'all didn't offer none of us at the table. Not even one piece. Wow. Like we like cake too, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I'm playing. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Yeah, yeah, man. that was funny as hell. Man, I mean, it just even now, I I feel like even some real hip hop shit, that AI shit could be lazy. Like you could turn around and be like, "Damn, I got eight records to write to." You can get this AI shit to write Man. for you. You that know shit, what I'm saying? That shit. Wait, it can write scary. for you? I'm just yeah. saying, yeah, yeah, nigga. It can do. It can write scripts. It yeah. can write a book. Yeah, no, it can write. Out. It can write. Check it can program out, shit. It can do mm-hmm. all kinds of shit. Check it out. For no, real. I seen the Biggie verse. That shit hurt me. It do other shit. No, that's um, that's the smallest. That's thing why that I like it. Yeah. It's kind of dangerous because yeah. it clones people's voices. That's what it is. To where it can make up a whole fucking crime scene, if anything. Wow, wow! I didn't look at it like that. I heard you just say that. I didn't look at it like that. Holy moly, walk alone. Yeah, it's. Uh... Hmm. Hello, I got that point. <laughs> Between the AI and the, and the deep fake, holding somebody for ransom, yeah, right, cloning somebody's voice, and man, yeah. they got me. Hold they on, you, me. they did. What is that? that? You ever met Bill Cosby? <laughs> never. Nah. <laughs> yeah, never sure. met nah, never. Um, we would see. You know, most obviously work with him. Um, y'all seen y'all seen Bay most stuff, but. No, hey, we most never worked with Bill Cosby. Acting-wise, yeah, yeah, acting yeah, he did yeah, the Cosby yeah, mystery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cosby yeah. Mysteries. 
<sighs> Most was like his sidekick. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Most were acting. Yeah, well his acting the resume most, is wild, man. Yeah. yeah. Most, most, I believed him as a doctor. Yeah. I, I, I was going to go see him. Mm hmm. Yeah. You ain't see him in the HBO <clears throat> shit? He was a doctor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 The I believed first him. Black yeah. heart surgeon. Yeah, the yeah, first yeah. black heart surgeon. Yeah. yeah. Right. I believed him. Yeah. I thought it was him. But earlier I said that I was asked about African Bambada, right? Yeah. Right. And African Bambada had some very serious allegations mm -hmm. against him. Yeah, yeah. And I could see certain people hold him down. Yeah. And I could also see certain people who just not want to talk about it, period. Yeah. What What, what, what is that type of stance for all three of y'all brothers when, when you say, because this man did do a lot of great things for hip hop, mm -hmm. but those allegations are kind of crazy. Yeah. So where do you, where, where, where do you guys think? I toured with Bam. I never experienced no kind of vibe like that mm -hmm. whatsoever, you know. Mm -hmm. For the most part, what still hold dear to me is what I learned, you know, mm -hmm. from watching as a kid. So mm -hmm. I still hold them in high regard of all the tenements of peace, unity, love, and having fun, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And everything we actually adopted from the Zulu Nation, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know any of that other stuff. And yeah, yeah the shit is disturbing, Yeah, you know? Yes. Um, I am concerned for him, his family, and for the victims, you know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, I respect that. You know? Right. Yeah. That's where it's at. Uh, what he said. Yes, I respect that. Yeah. It's a touchy situation because... Yeah. You know, um, it's just a touchy situation. So yeah, I spoke about it. It really, it really is. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But you know, over this entertainment, we all still real people, man. Mm -hmm. And you know, <clears throat> people live lives, and some, you know, I I remember a quote from Hillary Clinton: "Every family has their dysfunctions." You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is after she she got like, Monica, after Monica Lewinsky? Lewinsky? This, this, yeah. This, yeah, the yeah. model. Yeah, it's <clears throat> was big up Hillary Clinton. Yeah, that yeah, was hard. Yeah. Oh, I think, <laughs> only in the drink chat. Only big up Hillary Clinton. Big enough Hillary Clinton. We just, we just, this is Sleepy Joe. Oh, big enough Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Yeah. Just, 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 just real shit, you mm -hmm. know, so. <laughs> Man. But I, 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 you know, I had great times back with What is going on? Back with him and Arthur Baker. Oh, you said, this is the him fourth quarter of drink chat. Welcome to the fourth quarter. Welcome to the fourth quarter. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. Right. Because we received, you know, um, I'll leave it alone. Let's move on. Off, 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 off. All right now. My shit. You don't oh, want to put Lord. the rubber on there? You just going, just going raw metal? <laughs> you just roll with it. You just went raw metal? All right, I see you, I see you. Everybody, I see you. So y'all going to shoot the video now, right? Yeah. Yes, I got let's you. Let's let them shoot the video. Yeah, I got you. Hold Damn. on, I got like two, two, one more on that. We're going to get yeah, about it. I remember my shit, but after these fucking yeah. drinks, <laughs> yeah. I'll get through it. I know I know it. <clears throat> but we spoke about... I don't know. We spoke about me, myself, you got that, and I earlier. Thank you. But... Um, I want to go into depth mm. about that record. Where where was you at when you, when y'all wrote that record? Dog, mentally, mentally, we didn't give it. We didn't care. <laughs> I mean, like, were y'all doing it for? Like, was it just y'all just was fucking around? Tommy, we had put together this album that was what it needed to be. We we thought it was a great album. Tommy Boy was like, they loved it. They loved everything. They loved the fact that we could pull from this song called I Know and put, you know, Steely Dan in it. They love how we could put from this song Say No Go and take all the notes, but also match. So have, sorry to cut you, but they loved all of that without them wanting to try to look into clearing the sample. They, well, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, they, yeah. they appreciated the sample. They appreciated it. Go right. for sorry, they sorry. loved it all, but then they came to us like, yo, we need something to jump off with like we need like something that's going to be the kind of the megaphone to bring people to the party and so they said they needed a single he always wanted to do something off mace he wanted to do something off uh the knee deep, knee -deep record funkadelic record mm -hmm. i just felt like it was such a record that was so amazing us touching that what are we going to be able to do to that? Right. So when when him and Paul or mainly May start putting the shit together, Dave was just on some clown shit with it. He was like, "Yo, man, fuck it." So yo, we're gonna um, we're gonna take this song from Jungle Brothers called "Black Is Black." We're gonna mimic 
<laughs> their rhyme style. So that are you that, drinking all these drinks? I'm not sure. I don't hey, know. Yeah, yeah I, I, I ain't drinking them. So it was, I, I can drink, dog. I guess busy. I can see you hanging out. Yeah, I, I see busy. you. And he is <laughs> not really slurring at all. I'm here. I'm watching this yeah, shit. Yeah, um, the blackest black record on Jungle Brothers, straight out the Jungle album, was like in America today. People, so we we just took that, that rhyme style, right. mirror right. mirror on the wall. Wow. So he was like, "Fuck it." We just did some so easy. Wrote those rhymes real quick here, and God was like, "Yeah, nigga." We're going to make this your biggest shit ever. Right. So, Great. you know. So basically, this was your throwaway. And it was Q-tip, your throwaway. And Q-Tip was on the song Black is Black. Black, yeah. Right. So that's where he comes in, in his little part, where uh-huh. Q-Tip say Black, Black is, is Black. Black. Yeah, we just took it from Black <laughs> is Black. We just took that rhyme style from Jungle yeah, Brothers' song. that is song. crazy. Yeah. And it was just a throwaway. It was no thought put into that. Nothing. And it wasn't me even supposed to be on the I. album. Let's no, just they wanted to, it was just us being so some bullshit. Like, yeah, like yo, here. But I'm saying you had already turned in the album, that, or you that, gave them the basically the album. They heard everything we had did, and they needed. They, they said, and felt they like felt they we needed, needed a, a single. single. So we was like, all right, and aesthetically, and, and it was more so at that time for black radio. Right, we Urban. Have, yeah. They now call Urban. No, it was called Black Radio. It's called Black Radio back then. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Not Urban. No, it was straight we, up. We even got a billboard <laughs> thing that says, uh, B- "Yeah, Black, Black, yeah, <laughs> Black music." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. So we like, got All that right. black. I want Black <laughs> Radio music. Black. The fuck? That's yeah, why. Yeah, just change Urban right. later. Urban later. Yeah. That's more politically correct. Urban. Yeah. So that was like pretty much the second to last song that was done. Wow. Yeah. The last song was uh, Living in a Full Time Era. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And then aesthetically, the look that was the video and you guys, that was always there. Like you guys already had thought that through. Was it? Naturally? There was no thought to it. I'm being honest, man. Like in us giving a throwaway, it had us giving who we were as people and how we was caring about shit. Right. So once we saw that it was. And it was crazy. I remember when the, when the album came out and that shit came out, and I remember Q Tip was already DJing, and I remember him was like, "Yo, man, yo, Merce, this shit is going." And then I remember the Mace did something. Mace was like, "Yo, this shit is, yo, yo, I think this shit is about to go. Like, this is me myself and I <laughs> shit about to be big." Not. I was like, <laughs> "All right." Uh-uh. So it just kind of like got, the visuals just kind of was easy to fall into. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I always say that, man. It's like I'm, I'm being honest, and this is right here with me. Like niggas wasn't no punk niggas. Like uh, that video was a video. Like uh, we weren't those type of dudes. We came from a place where yo, you could be different, but niggas knew you had hands. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. You know, you could sell drugs, but you could be into the coolest shit ever, or the 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 the, the you know the punk rock shit. Who right. who knows? Like that's one thing about Long Island. Like we hung out with the the white kids who did the keg parties, and we brought them I to love our keg parties. parties. You know, so. We was all around keg each other. Parties was rocking. Yeah, I like cake parties. Yeah. yeah. So I that. I always want to be the dude upside down. <laughs> I never. I, I, you never pulled yeah, it yeah. off? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, white people. All the white people, you <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> all right, go ahead. So, you know, that's what it was. I mean, like, it did work. It just kind of meshed into this thing, like, yeah, man, we can make this about individualism and, you know, being confident in who you are as a person and, you know, but we were like the dudes who loved the most hardest shit ever. We, you know, we we could sing you any Coogee rap record. When this dude was sitting here putting out his first joints, we knew all them joints, like Strong City joints. Like, we loved hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? But we had no problem with expressing ourselves the way we chose to express ourselves. Because you know? that, that's, that's something that's very unique about y'all as well, is y'all very creative when it comes to them videos. Mm. Like... I don't think not one of y'all videos looked at like another one of y'all but videos. Let me tell you this. I can know I'm talking from my standpoint. Okay. I was the dude who wanted simple videos. I want like, yo, there wasn't one e- EPMD video that missed. Like, mm-hmm. I'm being honest, I think that every De La video was a, me. Right. That's because you're This yourself. is me saying yeah, that's, like you, that's your preference. Like, yeah, like I just thought like we missed it. Like Maybe ego tripping, but nah, just be, me disagree. being honest. 
every video, like like when Tribe would do videos, I'd be like, oh shit, these niggas yeah, nailed it. Videos be crazy. Nah, that's EPMD, how I feel about y'all. I'd be y'all, like, yo, though. these the EPMD niggas nailed it. Like, I'll be niggas like, but that's how I feel about y'all. I'm like, y'all just being honest. honest. Every time. The thing with us, the thing with us is that the director would be so tired of doing the NWA videos with right. all the bitches and da 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 right. that when Daylock came up he they, they felt would they be, could be more creative they'd be with you too right. creative right, right. and we'd be like oh man yeah, come on that's man how you felt, bro. yeah for real holy it, shit I for real the exact dog opposite like for real like I felt like y'all that break of dawn it. video it was like what the fuck is this the what video you said the break of dawn video where we I love, just, I love that that's, that's in my notes yo it was just <laughs> it's in my notes break of dawn <laughs> Yo. But you know it's funny the hip hop needed that. You probably no, I like I don't it. need that, but hip hop needed that. So this is crazy to hear you nah, say I'm be, that. I'm being honest. I thought like, y'all hit every video. Yo, like I'm you and Buster about... Rhymes, I always thought that you guys Buster had incredible. Like Buster's like you guys and Buster to me mm-hmm. had all the, the dopest videos. Mm-hmm. And to hear you say that, that's because yeah. you're a perfectionist though. No, nah, I mean ooh, yeah. Who was man, there? Who uh, got us there? Yeah. Ooh, was, and like I said, I mean, I would, and I hope, I don't want to disrespect any of the directors. I mean, like, when we did Ring, 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 like, yeah, like, but I'm just trying to say, like, I just felt like it didn't always have to be so. See my notes too, look, Ring, Ring, Ring. It didn't have to look, always be like, yeah, I mean, so my fucking interview. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? You didn't want all the bells and whistles. You wanted it just to- kind of could just be. I don't know if I said a certain verse, the visual could match it. You had you know? any input? We had, but. I don't know, man. He kind of really didn't care as much. Honestly. Or did you just like the more simplified? Like one of my favorite videos is the first "Protect Your Neck" video. It was just that I think it was black and white, and it mm-hmm. was just raw and gritty. That was ill. Yeah. yeah. I think at that time, being young, willing to take someone's lead and that expertise of what they do, mm-hmm. you know, and just seeing what they come with, you know, a lot of times. If we didn't like shit, we didn't say it, you know? Yeah, that's that, true. That would be the, the, the dangerous part. We wouldn't say it, you know? So, yeah. uh, And by no means, I'm trying to say I hated our videos, but I just felt like I never really walked away a lot of times feeling like, yo, we nailed that shit. Mm. And what directors you guys work with? Diane Martel. Uh, shit, I can't even fuck with Dave me. Mays. Mark Romantic did um, Ring, Ring, Ring. Y'all got the... Y'all got, I mean, we... They got A-list directors. No, we did. You know, say no, go all that shit. But and they probably went all out for you guys, and that's no, what you're did. not liking. I mean, Buddy <laughs> was something because it was just a vibe. I mean, that was his family, and we just had fun shooting Buddy. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. So what is your favorite video that you, you ever filmed? Wow. For me, it would be Ooh. Mm. I, I would understand. have to agree. Yeah. I, I would have to agree with you. Who was the, the Wizard of Oz video? Yeah, all that it shit looked like good. you guys were having fun on that. We one. had a lot of fun, mm-hmm. and that's one thing about us as a group too. We was always willing and had no problem with having people showcase themselves, not worrying about us, right. because that was one thing that even people at Tommy Boy were saying. It was like, "Yo, you know that this video is showcasing Red Man, Man and Rod right. Digger, like Dave Chappelle, like you know, because y'all faces is covered, so y'all fans or these new fans may not really see y'all, but we, we didn't the, care. We played into the we artistic the value of it. We right. was like, yeah, that was us always. You know what I'm saying? But Sally had a one track mind. The way this nigga sat here and did his uh, yeah. video, like I was like, can we do a fucking video <laughs> <Yeah>. like that? <laughs> right, like, the projects, yo, uh, like. We rarely did shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Pops Ever. Of my lawn came yeah. close. Fucking high no video and bubbles floating around. It was like, all right, nigga. Like, and that's what's crazy is is I'm sitting around thinking y'all being the most creative. And to me, I'm, I'm still standing by that. Mm-hmm. I'm not letting you change my mind. I just be honest. <laughs> I think y'all videos was hard. I, I would look at y'all yeah. videos and be like, I want a video like that. Mm. I want to be creative like that. So the fact that you're sitting there, but I know you're a perfectionist. I could, I could tell. Yeah, like I said, it was just that the, the directors was just so happy to do something with us because they felt like this could be something that can get me away from what right. I'm normally doing Being stereotyped right. Yeah right. You know what I'm saying Stakes is I was a dope video That, that was, was a dope, dope video yeah. That was a dope video was yeah. All good yeah. was dope too. And we were supposed to Actually when Nick Quest did, We were supposed to do The business I don't know what happened We just never Pick up my it. boy Nick Quest you, you, you know Nick Quest Was the guy That was following around The dudes that um, Crushed the right house 
that crashed ah. the White House. Oh shit! He was the dude that he was, filmed he, it. Yes, he One of the he went undercover. Wow! And filmed it. He has a whole documentary that's about to drop of him filming the guys who stormed the White House. Oh shit! Holy shit! <laughs> He's that's a maniac. That's ill. I can believe it because the, the the joint on stakes is high where the the country dude is like rap some mm-hmm. something this is a bunch of niggas talking. Right. That's from something he had filmed. Oh shit! Right. Gra- like nigga always go yeah. undercover with some shit. Nick did my first um two videos. He did my L A L A and he did T O N Y. Nick Creston. So wherever you at, Nick Creston, you know I got to learn with love for you, man. But mm-hmm. the fact that he God. went in undercover Damn. for us as a mm. people. Like, he's hip-hop. Like, Nick is not racist yeah, at all. He, right? yeah. So he had to go and front like a Nazi. Right. <laughs> he had to act like a Nazi to get down with them. Ooh. He filmed the whole shit. He has the whole shit. This shit is amazing. I didn't see it, obviously, yet. But his but, personal yeah. feelings to the side. Like, like he put mm-hmm. his personal feelings to the side. He filmed this shit. And um, so he has this whole documentary coming wow. out. So Nick is That's crazy. Dope. Um, um but, but by the way, I appreciate that. Mm. You know I me, mean? I appreciate... It, uh, I always say that to my friend. He's over there. Um, if you if you have white privilege, use your white privilege oh, for yeah, your fucking not? for your friends for your friends for man. your friends. Yeah. If you have it, yeah. use it. Word. You know what I'm saying? The same way I'm gonna use my black hip hop privilege for you. Yeah. And Nick Weston, he actually did that. That's like he, he to me, he paid back hip hop. Everything mm. that hip hop has done for him by him going undercover. That's dope. And. Filming the Magna mm, crew. Like that's, By that's, the way, I, which I want to see. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm I looking definitely want to see that. that. That's yeah. dope. Up. But let me just tell y'all, man. I really appreciate you brothers taking the time out to come see us, mm. to come chop it up with B, us. We appreciate y'all having us. Straight yeah, up, man. man. Yes, man. man. We love you I love man. the show, man. Mm-hmm. Thank you. But it's, it's, it's your time to give you your flowers. I hate you. And, okay. I love you. And it's, it's <laughs> really is because hip hop has saved my life. Mm. Literally, I had six months when I came home from jail, I had six months to get a job. And if I didn't get a job, I would have went right back to jail. And you know what job I got? is hip hop. That's dope. <laughs> you know, Yo, man, that's dope. I, I literally went to McDonald's and they told me no. <laughs> like, Yo, but... I would have worked at McDonald's. I was willing... To work at no, McDonald's. Dope, man. And they told me, no, you're a felon. It's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, like, Premier had told me something like, kind of similar with uh, Malachi, you know, like from Group Home. Oh, group like, yeah. You know, and hip hop, it was just like the judge was like, yo, he can go away. And they was really speaking on behalf of him and they're having them say like, yo, so why don't you have him do what y'all do? And mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, mm, wow. it's just dope how hip hop has placed people in the fabric of a culture, you know, and saved their lives with it. You know what right. I'm saying? Yep. Right. That's, that's everything, man. Look how many countries you're just naming just, just, just now. Like people from the Bronx, Long mm. Island. You know, Queens, they're supposed real. to be naming Warsaw, Poland, yeah. and <laughs> Dusseldorf, Germany, and shit like that. Oh, like, yes, we are. You know yes, what I'm saying? We are. You know what? Now we are. Yes, yes, yes because are. this is a beautiful thing. Yeah. You know I mean? It really is, man. I really uh. wanted to give y'all flowers out. I, I, I found out too late that Diamond D was coming here because we would have had you give your flowers, but mm. we want to give you your flowers with DITC, where everybody <laughs> plays. We would yeah. love. Y'all put it together, please. Ooh. I want to give Showbiz AG yeah, your flowers Ooh. so bad. I want to give you your flowers so bad um, because this is truly what me and EFN want to do is in this game, if it's, after you have 10 years, mm-hmm. they say that you're washed up. Yeah. And this is only hip hop. Yeah. They don't do that in Rolling Stones. They don't do huh. that in rock and roll. They, don't. They, right. they say that you're seasoned yeah. when yeah. you have 10 years mm-hmm. or, or 15 years or 20 years or more. Yeah. So I want to stop this in hip hop. That's the reason why we created this show is we want people that is seasoned as veterans yeah. to have their flowers. You've to stopped have, it. To have yeah, that. No, you right. stopped it already. Yes, thank yeah, you. Thank no. you. Thank you. Have stopped thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, because, right because you truly, you guys truly, really, everyone who has 15 years or more in this game, we have to salute you, brothers. Like, That's we really have to. Like, I, I love the fact that um, Chuck D is, um, what is it, his, his, his thing now called? Hip Hop Alliance? Hip Hop Alliance, where mm-hmm. he's actually fighting for us to get medical rights. Yeah, man. Actually Blow, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. With Curtis Blow. I fucking love that. I want to support it so much. I want to, I want to donate. I want to do yeah. whatever. Because Hip Hop 
has to be taken care of. We have to take care of each, each other. other. Right, right, right. That's o- it. Otherwise, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Because um, it's just like I say with, my, with, with, with Fat Joe. Me and Fat Joe haven't seen each other like six months. He's been busy. I've been busy. Doesn't I don't have to, I don't have to speak to him all the time. Yeah. I don't have my love for him is always there. Yeah, that's the same thing. What we have to do with hip hop is like mm-hmm. sometimes we ain't, we can't participate, but the love has to always be, be there. there. Yeah, and with you guys, I seen that. Like I told you, mm-hmm. I literally tears came out my eyes seeing y'all celebrate, seeing y'all count that down. Mm. I was like, yo. I swear to God, I was like, oh, I wanted to be there so oh, bad. Man. I was like, oh shit! Like, like it, I was like, yo, I really wanted to rewind. We talked about time. right after. We were both like, oh, I was like, the man. man. I wish I would have. If I would have knew an hour ahead, <laughs> I would. I don't know how I would have got there, but I wanted to celebrate that moment. But mm. this moment is also just as important because yeah. I wanted to give you your flowers to your face and tell y'all how important y'all are to hip hop, mm. how much that y'all contributed, and how much we appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Yo, Thank man. You. For real, man. Y'all Love brothers. Y'all proud, man. Thank and, you, bro. and you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I'm going to be honest, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to, 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 to be... Dave is here right now. Yeah. Without question. Like, I yeah. really yeah. want me to say Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I feel him yeah. laughing at me. Nah, Word I up. feel him cracking jokes nah, on nah, me. Nah, sure. <laughs> And that's real. Like, I feel him. And I'm saying, yeah. like, he, he said it when he was here. Yeah. He, yeah. he loved you, yeah. dog. Because yeah. he, yeah. he really, I'm, I remember us doing he, this with thing Dory. with you <laughs> and Tommy Boy. And we was like, he was like, yo, dog, this nigga got something. He's yeah. good at this shit. And you're like, <laughs> Yes, I yo, feel him here. It was here. amazing having right. y'all. Yeah. Right. Right. I'm being honest. I feel him here in this room. No doubt. I don't mean to be spiritual, like you nah, know, like it's, crazy. It's the but truth. I really do. Like, like, um, yeah. like when my father passed away, I became spiritual. I mm. started, to, and I started to realize that maybe I didn't lose him. Mm-hmm. I lost him in the physical form, yeah. but yeah. I didn't lose him. And, and it'd be times I just be yeah. feeling him. The transition. And I, they just and I was telling you, yeah, dog. Dave is in this yeah. room right yeah. now. Without right. question, we 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 love you. Uh, we miss you, brother. We are gonna hold you down. Word. We and honor you, man. De La Soul, man, forever, man. We we we, we that, that is forever, Thank man. You, De La Soul. Thank you, man. Man, I really appreciate. I, I, this we did a straight three hours, man. Mm. This shit, it, it, it felt like three yeah. minutes, like because nah, it didn't feel long yeah, 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 because because I'm rocking. <laughs> I was so excited, and and you know what? Again. Hip hop has to celebrate hip hop. Mm. Mm. Another coach is not going to celebrate us. Nah. Right. Jazz all. ain't going to big us up. Nope. Rock and roll ain't going to big us up. Nah. <laughs> Heavy metal ain't going to big us up. Mm-hmm. So we don't big each other up. Yeah. And, and tell each other how great you are, especially when you are great. Mm-hmm. Appreciate you. There's people that's not great. <laughs> and they get bigged up. But y'all brothers are great. Thank you, bro. I want to say rest in peace, Dave. Thank you, man. Rest in peace. Word, um, rest in peace. I want to say, you know, you, you know, um, De La Soul forever. Yeah, man. I want y'all to know that y'all are appreciated. We love y'all. Thank you, bro. We're going to hold y'all down forever. Love y'all oh, too, man. bro. We're going to take a couple of pictures and then we do y'all we do the video. Go. And then go. I need y'all to sign this for me. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 By the way, I'm going to be honest. You better not... Keep that down, cause I'm gonna steal that. I'm gonna steal that <laughs> one. That one, I might steal. Yo, 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 check out uh, Rich Medina's vinyl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink Champs is a drink.